absurdism, it surrounds us. It penetrates us. And very few things in this galaxy says nerd. Like Star Wars! Nerd is new sexy. So, this is episode 15. This is our mini boss. Joining us is Mr. Gambit. Say hello. Hello, everybody. And uh, Sunrise Wife so- Cuteness. Say hello, Miss Cuteness. Hello. Hey, she earned her MRS. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyone who can put up with you. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I like how you're married and you're talking about you can't bow until we make money, but you got a wife. I don't... <laughs> you're an inspiration to nerds everywhere. That's right. <laughs> I've got a shrine like in my closet. <laughs> I use the Jedi mind trick. <laughs> oh, see, that makes sense. Did you do it you like will the mar- You will marry me today. You yeah, yeah. You'll drop your blaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, as you guys may have guessed, today is Mini Boss episode number fifteen. Yes, and it will be everything Star Wars. We are very excited. I literally just got out of the movie theater, seen it for the first time. All the reason I haven't seen it, you know, day of or day after, was because I was broke. I'm a broke motherfucker. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was. Uh, it, it's been pretty crowded at the theaters to oh, go yeah. see it. It's well, finally, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I've honestly seen it three times, and it doesn't stop getting crowded. It's crowded every time. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm. I gotta. I, there was like four people in there, but then again, I'm. You know, the town I'm in. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was still good. I unfortunately knew some of the spoilers, and we'll get we'll go over the spoilers. So I let us warn you now. If you have not, yes, seen spoilers, it, spoiler alert, big spoiler. Well, all right, all right. We're gonna say this as emphasized and highlighted as possible. Every single one of us is just gonna start saying it. Spoilers. Yes, spoiler. Something, spoiler! something, something. Spoilers. <laughs> spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. I want to give the bad touch to the blonde-headed kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 and that goes for all the movies, not just the newest one. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, spoilers on the video games, on the movies, guys. If you haven't played the mo- the video games, yeah, all of them, spoilers. Yeah, if you didn't know that Haley Joe Osmond is the new Sith Lord named <laughs> Kaiser Sose, you're in for a surprise. <laughs> not, not like Haley Joe Osmond, like nowadays, no, the the back in the day, Haley, Haley Joe Osmond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he takes his mask off, he's like, hey, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bad guy now. By the way, I see dead Siths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, Macaulay Culkin is the new uh, 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 master, so the new blonde-headed boy. <laughs> <laughs> So well, I guess we should start out or the beginning, like you know. Uh, but then again, that's hard chronologically. What is the or yeah, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the beginning as far as Star Wars because when the movie was released, it was Star Wars. I there was no it. Episode Four. There was no A New Hope. It was Star Wars. Yeah. So the, honestly, that's where we need to start because he yeah. did not have the prequels in mind at the time. Hell, he didn't even have a finished script. Even though when the prequels, tell me. even though when the so, prequels yeah. were being made, he yeah. was saying, "I had this all." written out i'm george lucas i am the master of everything yeah, it, yeah. but yeah now mind you i am such a hard corner and this is for everybody is occasionally i will slip back into the old school when i talk about one two and three i talk about four five and six yeah. i will try to refrain from that so i can keep the confusion down low but if i ever slip up that's my fault but uh, for me it would always be four five and six is always going to be the original trilogy yes, one two and yes. three yes. and don't yeah, let me too. forget sunray i gotta do a uh nerd tech review this episode oh um, yes you do my lights yes, <clears throat> Gambit actually has two of those himself. Oh, yes, right. yes. Uh, yeah, I have the FX uh, Darth Maul because we'll get to Darth Maul later. Yeah. He is probably the best thing ever. And I also have uh, uh, Jedi Knight Green Saber as well. Yeah. So, and I got the I got the red one, but we'll get to that. Yes. Yeah, so I have since... a flashlight with a blue filter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you You're just vroom 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 vroom. Look at me, guys. So, uh, you know, goodness, you haven't said much so far. Uh, have you seen? the uh the first three star wars movies yes i have but it's been a while okay but i enjoyed all three of them well definitely feel free to you know chime in and uh yeah don't be don't be shy no you're over here they're over there probably blushing a little yeah i, mean, I haven't no, even said I, dick yet well, yeah well I'm, I'm, I'm actually super happy that we got a female on because honestly there's so much to the female take that i would love to get and, and then the, and even the fact that you're not a hardcore fan because there's just so many questions i would love to pose to, to a casual <laughs> yeah. female watcher yeah. well nerd is sure. sexy 
So let, let's start off with, since we're going to do that, what, when was the first time and, and how did you do see the Star Wars? I mean, what kind of, and we'll, we'll start, we'll start with cuteness. We'll, we'll start with her. You know, when, when was that? When did you, how were you introduced to it? We were, I was introduced when I was um, nine, 10 years old. I thought it was just pretty cool because my mom and dad loved Star Trek. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah. so we watched Star Wars and we would have little marathons to watch it. And we just liked the movie and just all the action okay. and uh, my favorite is the Return of the Jedi because of the little bears. Oh, because the Ewok. Yeah. Yes. The little, little bears. bears. I love it. They're like the Care Bears on crack. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's why they're so cute. Scared, except for that, I'm throwing a fucking spear at you. Ah! Yuck, 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 yuck. God. And I got sad when some of them were killed, and it just yeah. made me sad, but they're just so cute. And... You sad too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what about you, uh, uh, Gambit? What's your first take on when you first? First watch the Star Wars. Well, it's it's actually kind of a, a funny and embarrassing story. I was uh, five years old. It was 1989, and like every good Thanksgiving, uh, we had the whole family over, and they used to play all. Th- and I think they still do on Spike TV. They play all the original three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I walk in, and I'll never forget this. I looked at my uncle, and I said, "What are you watching?" And he goes, "He goes, shut the fuck up and learn something." <laughs> that's that sounds about right. It sounds like your family. Yeah, it sounds like my family. You guys know yeah. my family. So yeah. I sat down and I watched number four, and that entire Thanksgiving, I watched all of them. My mom, being a, a big fan, then bought me the series, and since 1989, I've been a, a, a just a, a diehard fan. Okay, so. you can go, Sunrise, if you're ready. Well, you know, it's funny. It, I was introduced to it kind of the same way that I was introduced to, to Aliens. All of a sudden, one day, it's, it's on the TV. I want to say I was over at my cousin's house. They had just got a VCR. Now you gotta remember, it's like, oh, you got a VCR. This is this is the '80s. They were rich. Yeah, time. you get, yeah, yeah. You you have this and a and a 50 pound VHS recorder. <laughs> you you're making some nice money. Yep. Uh, so they just got a VCR, and for 59.99, I'm not kidding. They bought the first Star Wars movie, and everyone's like, oh my god, let's 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 watch it. You've got a VCR. They're like, oh, we've got Star Wars too, and they're like, oh my god, you got Star Wars. <laughs> and you're so super was, rich. Yeah, and I remember sitting down and watching, it and just I was so enthralled. I'm like. This is really cool, and I I don't remember how old I was. I was probably eight or nine at the time. This is probably around like eighty seven, eighty eight, or something like that. And I just remember watching, just just watching from start to finish. And they're like, oh, and there's there's two more movies, and I'm like, oh my god. So when do I get to watch those? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see. My first, my first. Honestly, you guys remember the tapes that told the stories? Oh yes. yes. The yes. earliest I can remember. When you when you hear. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Turn the page. Mm. You know they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much I, I it started with that my parents bought me that when i was real young and i got i loved it i loved it and then of course i that's my first memory with star wars so you hear you know some people replacing the original actors voice actors or clips from the movie at the time i would so you were pretty much with, with the radio plays almost yeah more or less and then i watched of course you know hbo the, the movies that came out and they were probably when we were young you got you guys gotta remember they were on all the fucking time i'd watch them and of course they never came on like you know one two and three or you know, four, five, and six, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. So I'd watch them, and I, at first I didn't realize, you know, being young, I didn't realize that they were not in order, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, I, knew, I knew about Vader before, like, I watched the first one, like, wait, wait, what? He doesn't know all of a sudden? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, so then finally, you know, later on, I, I, I'm about seven or eight, and I watched, I, I finally watched them in order. My dad's like, okay, well, you're going to learn about this. And I watched them, and I fall in love with it. You know, Han Solo, all the characters, all really great writing, really a space epic fairy tale is what it is yeah and uh yeah with magic and darth darth vader's darth vader's the the your your black knight yeah and, you know obi-wan is merlin and yep. yeah it's really is kind of and they really said they, they they drew a lot of inspiration you oh you can see it you know but yeah. and it, it was fun to watch it kind of grow on its own too it was a it was a seed planted and it grew into something amazing so mm. You know, okay, so the first movie, we'll go over some of the basics of the first movie. Uh, basically, you find this young boy on a planet that's nothing but sand. Because, you know, Star Wars. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just a desert planet, you know? Yeah, but that, but but honestly, it does open. It has one of the most memorable epic openings ever. It it is space, and all of a sudden, there's a there's a ship. ship. Oh yeah. You know, boom, 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 boom. Lasers are going, and you and you're, and you're hearing that, almost like jar jaws. You know, with that. 
yeah. yeah, music playing, and it open, you know, opens up with them, you know, blasting their way in. Neither side really hitting shit because stormtroopers. Yeah. But <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh, let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, you're right. In, in, in the start, they they were hitting their they were hitting their marks through smoke, no less. No, yeah, that's that's what's so amazing, and, and I love that people make fun of the star the stormtroopers for not being able to hit shit. But if you go back and watch the first one, they breach the door, and any military man will tell you that that's the fatal funnel. It's the worst oh, possible yeah. position mm-hmm. to go into. The the rebels had, and I counted this because I'm that much of a nerd. They had 15 <laughs> people in a hallway aimed at a door, yeah, and the true. first guy walked. They do. No, the I'm not because it's making sense. Yeah, it sounds, like, it sounds guy... like our battlefield uh, experiences. <laughs> right, right. Like he, he, he comes in. The first guy, the first stormtrooper comes in and gets nailed. But then what happened? They systematically wipe that fucking ship, and only two. When you go back and yeah. watch the movie, two stormtroopers get killed, and they wipe out an entire rebel ship. Yeah, that's true. coming through a doorway. That's about oh, I don't know. Six feet by five feet? Like, no, I'm yeah, sorry. About, about now, I'm believing, yeah. I believe that's the 501st, too. That's our yeah, that was. That was Vader's fist. Yeah, that was the first. Yeah. They were, those, were clones, so those were who clones were, who were actually trained. Yeah, <clears throat> which is kind of cool. Um, And I have I have, I have, have a few uh, really cool uh, theories on that in Sunray and I've talked about. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so you go on, you see that awesome scene, and they come in, and then then you hear that music, fucking music, yeah. and then who that walks? Music. Who walks in other than the fucking Dark Knight himself, Darth Vader? James Earl Jones. Da da da, I'm your father. Da da da. But yeah. Uh, and, and I will say this, just to cover star, you know, in general, Star Wars has some of the best damn music I've oh, ever heard. Oh, yes. Oh. Not not the re 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 release with the with the song and dance CGI dance. Oh, I'm don't talking about the original. I'm talking about John motherfucking Williams. Yeah, yeah, John. yeah. John Williams is the man. Be- beautiful music. The you know, it, yeah. Out comes out comes Darth Vader. You first. This is your first view of this man. This amazing, powerful person. And he walks out and he's like, well, blah blah blah, whatever line he says. And you just you're just you, you pretty much or- nerdgasm over that dude. You're like, yeah. oh god, I wish I was that guy. And then you find out he's a burnt piece of bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Later on. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. But you're right. What a, what a menacing way to start your power. He's literally force choking the shit out of a six foot tall dude, and he's making him look like a bitch. Yep. And then he just tosses him to the side and was like, all right, no I'm gonna tear the ship apart. Yeah. No effort whatsoever. Pretty yeah. much. So the next scene, I think, uh, well, the next scene worth mentioning is Leia. Talking to R2, yeah. right? Yep, yep. R2, the greatest droid ever made. Fuck oh. BB-8. I, I, see, I'm with you I, on see, that. I like him. Uh, no, no, I like him. I like him, but don't try to replace R2D2. That's with BB-8. what I saw. That's why. That's how I see it. They're trying to like put a new R2 in, and it's not. But yeah, we'll get to that. See, I. Well, okay, yeah, I, I've got, I've got a different. Yeah. Different that but yeah and i i appreciate i i see where you're coming from too sunra i just i yeah. I, I yeah you see you see them talking and he's you know you see like the final thing that she's saying in this recording and you know help me obi one kenobi you're my only hope yes judas you should say that line for us help me obi one kenobi you're my only hope oh my nipple just got <laughs> <off>. uh... <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong. <laughs> yes. strong with that one. Force nipple pinch. <laughs> yellow, <laughs> yellow. My safe word's yellow. <laughs> so, so okay. And then that happens, and she gets caught, as as we know, she gets caught. And, but but two droids get away, and you first see C three PO and R two D two. Well, you see R two D two prior, but you get the idea. Yeah. You get to see oh. this beautiful like riding. And beautiful talking between two droids. One of them you can't fucking understand, but the other one translates a little bit, just enough to know that he's a that the, the R2D2 is a potty mouth little fucker. Oh yeah. yeah. And let's and let's go back to that moment that, because there's a great moment that I just absolutely nerdgasm over. And that's there is a captain that says uh, 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 escape pod jettisoned out, but there's no life signs on it. Once they figured out that the droids were on it with the plans, you think Darth Vader came back to him and was like, "You really dropped the ball on that one." And he's like, "Yeah, that's my bad." I don't think he said it quite like that. He probably <laughs> yeah. took his lightsaber out and chopped the dude's dick off. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. I will demand you now. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, and, Lord and, and, Vader. And, and since we are talking about the droids, let's give a, a quick shout out to Anthony Daniels, oh, the only yeah. actor to play in all the movies. Yes. Yep. Yes, and live through most of them. Yeah. And, and yes. And he's, yeah. and, yes. So. 
Yeah, I mean, but yeah, and you're talking about the voice of C-3PO, obviously. Yeah, Anthony Daniels. Yeah, yeah it's a, beautiful. It's the voice of C-3PO. And, and he, yeah, a great straight man, perfect straight man for a, like you said, an uppity little foul mouth little droid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and and of course there's those jokes, you know, that R2-D2 and C-3PO are homosexual. Fine internet, but actually, yeah, don't don't look online for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always gotten to that, that but, C-3PO was, 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 the ple- was more that, that pleasure bot, and C-3, and uh, R2 was kind of like, as pimp well you know, rap, <laughs> you, you remember the rap where it says like uh he's a oh, man's yeah. golden fantasy <laughs> it, the, the raps cracked me up <laughs> yeah it's, it's so hilarious but okay uh, then we move on to this planet it's full of what dirt yeah just sand. dirt sand it's a it's a it, and that's the beauty of like, like i said earlier stock because of star wars but that's the beauty of star wars is there's planets that just have one like flora and fauna <laughs> You know, yeah. you have a planet full of magma and rock. You have a planet and womp rats and womp that rats. you can that you can bullseye. Yeah, so this one happens to be you know one with like what two suns and yeah two, two, sons. Yeah. two yeah. sons yeah two sons nurse and Tatooine. pretty much only his aunt only only his aunt Tatooine right I believe yeah yeah he, they go to they happen to land on Tatooine which is magical which you know I say magical and, and I mean coincidental because the only fucking Jedi in the known universe is living there. Yeah. Nothing well, is a coincidence yeah. in the Force. The Force flows through us and oh, guides shit. us. I should have <laughs> known that was coming. Yeah. But yes. There was no mistake that we were led here. It's like, uh, yeah, cut. you know what, Qui-Gon, it kind of was. It just happened. <laughs> I mean, you look at the sequence of events, it kind of it kind, it kind of did. Force well, flipped your way into this, but yeah. Yeah, yeah you force bitched your way into it. <laughs> And, and not only, and not only, not only the only Jedi in the known galaxy. Well, not the only one because Yoda was alive, and there's actually. Yeah, but conspiracy no one really knew theories. where he was. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A, have you heard about the conspiracy theories that Yoda oh, that, was actually dead. a spirit? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't buy it. I don't no. buy it either. Same, but, same uh, so, with Darth Jar Jar, but we'll get to that. Yeah. So, so apparently, like you got, you got this, but also <laughs> happens to be the same planet where the only known Jedi is, and. The son of Darth Vader? I and mean, the son of Darth Vader, exactly. The coincidence is just stacking up yeah. pretty high. Yeah. yeah. Pretty coincidental there, guys. And then, but, and then of course, they land there, and, the, and of course, R2 has the plans for the Death Star. Yep. Death Star 1.0. <laughs> yeah, 1.0. 1.0. 1.0. <laughs> so you got, you got that, and that's really important, you know. And, and I, this is my question. I mean, I, I understand Vader, and I think Sunrai told me this a while back. I understand Vader is strong in the Force, and I understand that like he, J- Luke was hidden from Vader. Why didn't he fucking sense his son? He could sense Ben Kenobi. No, okay, I'm yeah. so glad you brought this up because I've had this nerd rant a million and oh, one times. Um, oh god, the best way to describe why he would not, or uh, this is, again, this is just my nerd theory. This isn't anything set in stone or carved in stone uh, with a lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The best way I can describe it is that the force is is kind of like paying it. It's like your peripheral vision. Uh, if, if you're not really aware of it, you never really pay attention to it. Um, the, and and when you're so single mindedly driven, like a like a like a Sith is, you wouldn't be branching out with your feelings and really exploring the whole galaxy. And on top of that, so and we'll get back to the prequels. He was told his kids were dead, so there's no reason for him to force feel out his kids, or for that matter, feel out any kind of Jedi with that matter. So he's so single mindedly focused on destroying the rebellion that he's not really putting out this energy of trying to find either Obi Wan Kenobi, who he believes is dead or his son as well hmm. right and you know and, and kind of go along with that too is vader's under the assumption that after order 66 all the jedi are dead it's it's him and Palp- yeah. big papa palpatine and luke even though he is a very strong force he, he had he up to that point he was only a potential force right. user so yes he has the ability to but he 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 wasn't even exhibiting signs that he could <laughs> do it he wasn't so like, he wasn't yeah. like uncle owen let me get you that that power converter with the force <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah exactly yeah well, and, so, you know, another great example of this is in, in the new movie uh, the perfect example is when kylo ren is on the first planet and he stops and he looks at finn and he's like and he just stares at him for a second and he walks on he yeah. felt the force awakened in that moment but then he's like it's kind of like a deja vu moment where it's, he's he's not focusing on the force so he felt it it was there it's like a twinge in his side but he's like but then you dismiss it it's like deja vu you get yeah. the feeling like ooh i've been here before but then you're like ah eh, fuck it i'm 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 playing video games yeah 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 exactly which is a very interesting which is a very interesting point you brought up there but we'll we'll get to that when we get to the new movie <clears throat> which i can't wait to talk about cuz like i said i just seen oh yeah but the uh yeah the the movie goes on as far as uh we'll, we'll skip ahead a little bit 
He meets yep. Ben Kenobi, the people that he was left with, his his aunt and uncle, Uncle yeah. Owen and Aunt Beru or whatever, something like that. Uh, both got slaughtered because they ended up getting these droids and thermal detonator. Thermal detonators. <laughs> but my, my my favorite my favorite comment was who when they when they come up on the sand crawler and he says, well, well who with the Jawas and he says, well who did the storm uh, sand people and Ben and Ben goes. No, we we're only made to think think that. You see these precise these shots too precise for sand people. Only stormtroopers are this accurate. It's it's like after watching you just start busting up. It's like the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we just seen them miss a thousand times, but you know we, yeah. we had talked about that earlier. <laughs> you know that, that you know that you know I'm, I'm so glad we're like analyzing it because there's a moment right there where, first of all. You're a crazy old hermit. How the fuck would you know anything about stormtroopers? And right. second of all, can I get a moment to grieve? My aunt and uncle who raised me just got annihilated. Well, he, he didn't even—he wasn't even sad. He was just no, like, he wasn't—he wasn't even torn up about you know, it. Like you 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 see they're like dead bodies are like burnt up and it's horrible. And he just looks at him like, well, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Be mad. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, part my part of my theory on, on this is because Ben could he being that close to Luke and knowing who he was because he he the only reason he was in tat, on Tatooine was because Luke and I think that even in originally he sensed that Luke was powerful with this for with the Force whereas Leia, eh, not so much. She may she may not, but she'll never really awaken to it. <laughs> and so they, you know, he's there to kind of keep an eye, an eye on Luke. Yeah. It may have been like, again, nothing, nothing in any of the stories, nothing, anything like. But there is a good chance that Ben was helping to su- suppress Luke's feelings in order to continue to him drive, drive forward with the Jedi mind trick. That's possible Actually, too. I, that's oh, that makes point. sense. That's a yeah. good yeah. point. Uh, or, or, or Luke was just like, you know what? Fuck those guys. They didn't let me go to the Tossie station and pick up my power converters. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> one of my power converters. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he just, he was still pissed off about. Uh, i hate you i wish you were dead yeah well you know one of the things i think and this is again uh a bit of a bit of theory on my part i think that ben stayed uh, obi-wan stayed on that planet simply because vader was gonna look for you know anyone it found out anyone was you know anyone was alive in his family he probably would have went to you know uncle owen and aunt brew that's true. I, I, That's well, true. like we said, we're going to talk about the games. Um, the yeah. Force Unleashed, a game that came out a while ago on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. It was it was a great I game, but the, I enjoyed it. Uh, but they talk about that Order 66, which everybody knows from the original three movies, or the um, I'm sorry, the new the new ones, uh, one, two, and three. Order 66 was them annihilating the Jedi, scouring the galaxy to to take out the Jedi. So Ben would probably be on Tatooine more as a bodyguard. Yeah, like yeah, at this, this I, point. That's how I'd see it. Furthering the story. <clears throat> they find Han Solo is a smuggler. Man, 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 <laughs> man, 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 man. One of the most iconic scenes. And he, here's what's really funny. When they shot that scene, they thought at that moment, this movie is not going to make a goddamn dime. What the <laughs> hell is he doing? They thought it was the stupidest thing to put into the movie, period. It is one of the most iconic scenes. Because yeah. even the actor said, we didn't realize what it was going to look that it was going to look like this until we watched the unveiling when we did the the uh, the screening for it, and then all of a sudden we were like, my God, it works. Mm-hmm. So I will give him that. That is one of the most iconic uh, 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 songs and visuals in the mm-hmm. entire uh, series. <clears throat> yeah, my friend doesn't like you. I don't yeah, like. I don't you. like you either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you either. Hey, got, I'm a wanted on man this. on five planets. <laughs> well, I mean, I gotta touch on this because I mean, I wouldn't be a good Star Wars nerd if I did not. Han shot fucking first. Oh, of course he did. Oh yeah. 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 It was what was it on the re-release in the 1980? Yeah. What the... two 84 when they re-released it named it Episode Four. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. I think it was in the early 90s. But the the problem that I have with them changing that the 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 because the, the it really changes the dynamic of who Han Solo is. Yep. Han Solo is the kind of guy that will blast mm-hmm. his way out of a situation. If you are in his way, he will take you out because it's all about it's all about the solo. Let's be honest. Yeah. No, and, and 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 in the new movie, mm-hmm. he even addresses that and he says, "Well, how are you going to get your way out of this? Oh, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to talk my way out of it. I do it every time." And Chewie, uh, 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 he goes, "Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do every time." Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got you got to look at it this way. It's either go with Greedo and talk with Java. Yeah. You know, which is probably not going to be a good talk. 
and he loves the Millennial Falcon, so he's not going to lose that. No. Or blast and continue to run and have and try and get money or whatever the fuck he wants to do. Yeah, it's it's that, that there's a big that's a big part on like that's a great way to introduce Han Solo because yeah, and not only that, but then you make Guido look like a bitch because you're sitting right across from the guy and you're gonna shoot over his shoulder by about a good two feet. What the fuck? Well, did what you kind I'm, of enforcer are you? Have you seen his eyes? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen his eyes? <laughs> And even the explanation that Ben gives later about how he, he goes you know, when he talks about oh the force I don't believe in that supernatural you know BS <laughs> give me a good get, yeah give me a give me a bla- good blaster in my hand any day yeah. he says blasters are inaccurate well okay that explains certain things and I will go into the science be- the actual science behind with the virtual light made real with the lightsaber and the blaster technology based off of it why it kind of makes sense but it's not that inaccurate that Guido will shoot over his head no. that close. Well, you know what I the way I see it is like he got shot with a blaster. It's going to like move your arm. You're going to get you're going to get there's going to be like some recoil from that so I, maybe that's what happened. I know but then that, that but then again that changes the dynamic of who Han Solo is being yeah. the quickest draw in the galaxy. Yeah. If yeah. you're such a quick draw uh, that's why I love the original because he's such a quick draw. We didn't even see it fucking coming. He was just chilling there drinking his apple teeny, and then boom, dead. <laughs> apple teeny. Did you <laughs> really just to... say that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like to, to, I like to think that Guido likes an, I like to think that Guido likes an apple teeny. What's wrong with that? Space yeah. apple teeny. <laughs> so okay we, we we meet that's how we meet han solo and yeah. then later on you know we of course uh kenobi and and um which is he's known as the first part you don't know him as obi-wan until later on he pretty much he pretty much they, they pretty much meet up together hey i need we need to get off this planet blah 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 you know 12 parsecs or whatnot whatever parsecs, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. we're skipping one of the best characters oh Chewy? Chewy. 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 Yeah. Well, I was going to get to Chewbacca, but go, go ahead there, Gambit. Tell us about awesome. Chewy. Well, uh, okay. So first of all, <clears throat> what an amazing creature Chewbacca is. Giant I, I, I remember watching as a kid thinking, that's awesome. I want to pet Chewbacca. So you get this Chewy. And what's amazing about Chewy is Chewy is, is, is the more ferocious big teddy bear version of r2d2 in the fact that we can't understand a fucking thing he says but han solo has got the magic touch and is like oh yeah he wants a drink (laughs) (laughs) give give him a chewbacca snack yeah (laughs) (laughs) so yeah and which is great it's all like you said it's the art is c3po to the r2d2 which is actually kind of cool and he is a good character. Um, Chewbacca is one of those guys, you know, you, you always let a Wookiee win, right? Oh, yeah. 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 They'll, they'll rip your arms out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know what? I, I cannot get in. I can't. I don't even play the game shotgun anymore. When I'm getting to a friend, a friend's car and I want to call shotgun, I call Chewie. Chewie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you got to be right next. You got to be right next to him. Got to be right next to him. So, so you got this beautiful like you know. When I, I remember when I first saw Chewbacca, I'm like, this thing is awesome, and she's like seven feet tall, eight feet tall, yeah. something like that. And I'm just like, this is awesome. But what's he got around his fucking fur? What's that? What is that? Like a battle harness? Which it, it turns out it is. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she's using cells for the bowcaster. Yeah. Yeah, which so just why? goes into more how much of a badass he is. Like nothing screams more badass dude than a dude who just walks around with an ammo belt at all times. Exactly. Yep. And then you find out later on, you know, well alert. You find out later on that he has a, uh, a life debt with Solo. You know. Yep. And there are several different explanations for that. Some of them canon, some of them not canon. So actually, I don't think any of them are canon now with the extended universe being actually being you have a clean. point. But yeah, uh, yeah. So it never. So it never. Now it never officially goes into it. Yeah, well, oh, it, maybe. oh, go ahead. I was, I was thinking maybe it will, but what were we going to say, Gambit? Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say for all my hardcore uh, fans out there, because I, I, I shout out to Anthony uh, Daniels. Uh, the, you got to shout out to uh, Peter uh, Mayhew, who is the actor for Chewbacca, who he really is that tall. He oh, yeah. is a, a gigantic man. Yeah. Um, so I like to throw in those little fun facts for all the people who don't know the actors. <laughs> you get names, too, guys. Yeah. You get names. Names. Let me just put my glasses up my butt. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I and then I think pretty much the next scene is uh, Leia's going in and they're give us you know tell us the location of the of the rebel yeah. base and they're they're basically yeah. at Alderaan which turns out is Naboo after it changed its name but we'll get into bullshit. Ugh. <sighs> they're sitting there and what's funny is it was so difficult for Carrie Fisher who, who's playing Leia to say the lines that they I think she said they did like. 30 or 40 takes of her trying to say that, you know, I, I, I should have known that was you. I smelt your stench from so far away. They couldn't get through that scene because of how she says, nobody talks like this. 
They wanted to change the script. Leia does, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that was pretty much the answer. No, this is how she speaks. This is, and there she's like, okay. And I, I mean, it turns out to work. Yeah. I, and it's so funny because you don't even question it the way she says it. You're like, yeah, okay, that's her. Well, there's some hatred there, too. Well, yep. and you know what? I, and I'm glad we bring that because I'd love to put a pin in this. We'll come back to it when we get into the new movie. But I love the way they speak, and I love the way they don't change yeah. the cadence of people to appease pop culture because yes. that really makes Star Wars its own universe. Mm -hmm. And I really want to drive a point home with putting a pin in that because when we get to the seventh movie, yeah. they do some things that introduce pop culture oh, that yeah. really drive me nuts because okay. Star Wars does not change dialogue. It, it, they write it because this is the universe, and this is the way people talk in this universe. Uh, Galaxy yeah, far, far away a long time. Yes. Yeah, that's the other thing that I you – know, don't think people uh, understand too much and we'll get to that is that this is these are all stories about a long <laughs> time ago this isn't something that's happening currently or in the future yeah but yeah they, okay so the next scene we're talking about we were talking about leia talking with the the, the general guy and, and then they blow up her fucking planet <laughs> Not yes, a fucking which, tear. Yeah. Which you know what? Which is fucking great because when you when you when you place uh, Coder Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. Yeah. there's this beautiful scene when you're on Alderaan and you, and you won't catch it unless you play the game multiple times. But you walk by this like what would be a noble, and he goes, "I'd rather see an Alderaan destroyed than give it to those poor people." And it's like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Guess, I let, I let, let me tell your future. Hold on, I'm a Force adept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then this planet explodes, and it's funny because they use like the most overused explosion in the times. Oh yeah, times for the explosion of the planet for the Death Star when it finally explodes. But that's that's part of the beauty. And let's talk about the Death Star. This is the first time we get to see that motherfucker in action. Oh, yeah, yeah, and when when you actually finally get to see the Death Star, it's like a it's like holy shit. Oh yeah, they are really going all out on this thing. Seriously, and it and it's. Like, not like it doesn't look complete, you know. You can still see kind of yeah, we're still building yeah. it. And, yeah. I don't give a fuck what super villain you are in any galaxy, in any comic book world, in anything. Until you have a fucking Death Star, you <laughs> aren't shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> fuck you, Joker. <laughs> you don't got right? Death Star. Like, yeah. If I'm gonna take if I if I'm gonna rule the galaxy with the Iron Fist, I'm gonna make a fucking moon. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, and strap a big dildo inside of it. That shoots like <laughs> that's green lasers. That's true. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know, Kefka may have destroyed the world in Final Fantasy VI. He may have been a living god at the time, but he did not have a fucking Death Star. Fuck, you can't argue you, with that. Yeah, like, he could only attack the own the, the planet itself. Palpatine was a pimp. He's like, I'm gonna pimp this bitch. I'm gonna get rides and rims on this bitch. <laughs> <Yeah. awful." laughs> You see, that, that's what it was. That there wasn't a and the lasers. I want lasers all over this motherfucker. <laughs> it was when I go by. I want people to say that bitch be balling. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. That the beam, like the, the planet destroying beam that they had, wasn't the beam. It was the fucking like it was. It was uh, the actual like like radio. Giant, yeah, it was a giant dildo <laughs> cannon. Basically, it was a giant. It was a sound giant speaker. They're like, yeah. okay, pump pump the music. Boom. <laughs> Check out this radio. Not one tweeter. All base. All base. <laughs> you get to see that scene, and that just blows your mind because you you literally watch a planet turn into pfft, nothing. Space yeah, dust. Nothing. Uh, that's no moon. <laughs> that's what I'm getting to. <laughs> now, that. now here's here's where I'm start. I'm gonna start picking like like as as we're discussing things. I'm gonna, we're talking about cool things, and we're gonna start. You know, and, and I'm, yeah. we're doing the nitpick things. Okay, so you've got Vader, who now has Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, who has started his training, Han Solo, and Chewbacca. He walks in there, and, and it's just like, you're right. There's nobody here. Search it anyway for stuff. <laughs> Why can't he, he? He should have fucking detected. Yes. There's, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. One of them. Yeah. Right. I I mean seriously, he really. Well, there is no excuse for that besides lazy writing. Well, it's it's bad writing is what it is, and yeah. that's is exactly what it is. It's just like uh, okay, and I I've I've made this point to Sunrise several times. Darth Vader. Darth was actually considered his name. Darth Vader was his first yeah. and last name. And I say this for this reason. Watch the movie. Obi Wan calls him Darth several times. Yep. Yep. And that, we name. and we were talking about the original, not the re-releases yeah, and stuff that is like true. that. Because he he goes back he says Vader killed your far, father well well Darth this Darth this Vader Vader Darth 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 so, it, there wasn't a whole lot of consistency there it was like a first and last name so what that what that tells me is that the fans actually 
you know, it, let's be honest, the fans are at one point ran Star Wars. Uh, the fans pretty much go, hey, this isn't this isn't a name, it's a title. So, yeah, because everyone's like, well, what would Darth mean? What would Darth mean? It's like Darth didn't mean anything. Darth was who he was. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly what it is. And then there's the scene where, okay. And this cracks me up too. After they break out Leia in one of the most epic jailbreak scenes ever, not to not to, to you know gl- glass uh, uh, gloss over this real quickly. When Ben dies and he tells him tells him strike me down and I will become more powerful than than you ever will. And he and he kills him, but Ben just kind of disappears. <laughs> I, one I thought that was really odd. I think that was just one. I think that was one of those not so much how do we you know make it so it doesn't seem as violent to the people who are watching. Because even even Vader at it starts poking around like what just happened. Where did you go? I'm actually glad yeah. you brought this point up because <clears throat> for the original movie, yes, it, it does look very I, – I think they dumbed down the violence so they can get a better rating or whatever the reason, whatever, whatever, whatever. But when you read the canon of it, it's <clears throat> actually Qui-Gon Jinn teaching him how to become one with the Force. Yeah. yeah. But you need, you need a catalyst to launch you into the Force, and that's yeah. why he needed Vader to strike him down to then become one with the Force. Yeah, the best – because if you watch that scene, like you said, he waits until Luke sees him, and then he drops his guard and allows Vader to take him out. Yeah, and it all makes sense after you know. <laughs> yeah, and he meditates on it, too. He meditates on, I'm about to become one with the Force. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not, my body's not going to be here. I am actually using all my body, which is taught to him by Qui-Gon Jinn, which, again, yep. foreshadows again later in the in the third movie when Yoda dies, and he just kind of, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yep. <laughs> he kind of orga- Yoda orgasms in death. <laughs> right. <laughs> out be y'all. <laughs> what, what, what? Why are your sheets wet, Yoda? Pay no mind to my sheets, you must. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, but uh, yeah, he, he. So as we said, we, we skipped ahead a little bit, but that's fine. There's, there's. But yeah, and then he, you know, and so, so he dies, and then afterwards, you know, he. he He's kind of become the one with the force and everything like that, and he's just like complaining about how oh Ben struck down. It's like I'm, that's where Robot Chicken kind of got it right, where where Leia's like oh I'm sorry that you're upset about the creepy old man you met three hours ago. Yeah. I'm running my entire people. Yeah, because <laughs> they they blew it up. But before but before that, or I, actually just after that, there's a scene. <laughs> where and and this is further proof that the, the script wasn't done and it was still an evolving story while they were filming and and getting ready to uh, make new movies if because they didn't they weren't even really sure if this movie was going to end up with a sequel which is why it ends the way it does <laughs> and he's sitting there talking to the emperor as a hologram the emperor tells him I believe this boy is the son of Anakin Skywalker. It's like, okay, gee, what well, what gave you get, gave away the clues? Um, was it the fact that he was on Tatooine living with his aunt and uncle? Um, was it the fact that his name is Luke Skywalker? And two <laughs> and three. Isn't that an odd thing to say to Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> well, this shows the show how much of a chick the fucking Emperor is to begin with. <laughs> well, I, That's I, possibly I, your son. But... As, 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 as great as points that is, I, I really think of it as the same way Obi-Wan talks about when he talks about Anakin Skywalker being his best friend and Darth Vader destroying him. Yeah. He talks yeah. to him in two different personalities where I think that's what the Palpatine is doing there. He is Vader. He is Darth Vader. He is that persona. He is that person now. Well, he think, is not Anakin I Skywalker. Think everything yeah. you I think see, it became that. Yeah, but well, everything at the see. time, it, it's still – I mean especially looking at now, especially – like in the next movies where he says, how come you never told me Vader was my father? You said he, Vader destroyed him. Well, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Yeah, yeah I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as you as you go along with the games and the movies and, and the books and stuff like that, which, again, some of the stuff isn't canon no more. Some of the stuff isn't, you know, everything points to the same direction. As soon as a Jedi dies and because, well, as soon as a Jedi stops being a Jedi and goes to the dark side, that person of them dies, supposedly. Yeah. You know, uh, even though they can go back to the light side. So, but anyway, uh, Judas, what is your your outlook on what we've talked about so far? Well, I, I don't know all the nerd stuff that you guys have been talking about because when I watched him, I was just like, oh, this is cool. And then it pissed me off when, like, they blew up the planet and all that. But I don't know all the backstory. So you felt more about the planet and the people than Leia did? Well, no, yeah. She, yeah. yeah. And you know what, cuteness? I, I, I love that. Because, again, you're not nitpicking it. You're enjoying the ride. You're not at that super nerd level where you nerd rage out and want to, you know, kill a troop of tauntauns for no good reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or sand people. Or sand, or sand we're, people. Okay, we're, we're not talking about the Middle East. We are still talking about Star Wars. <laughs> oh! Okay. But no, uh, I bring that up where 
you don't see those inconsistencies, and and a lot of fans don't. And and I like that because, like like Kutna said, we were upset for the for Alderaan, and you need to be upset for Alderaan because they're showing how bad the 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 emperor and the uh the empire is yeah it was horrible i it was like what the he-? well at the time i didn't cuss but i was like what the hell yeah well it was a show of force and like like uh gambit said it's it's a show of how evil they are yeah especially yeah. after she gives them what they want well they think she gives them what they want yeah and they and they're like thanks bitch boom <laughs> <laughs> i didn't understand i'm like but wait yeah i just i just seen like two thumbs out you know like boom destroyed your planet does that make you feel eh? yeah. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get either way but uh it, so we see we see uh ben kenobi die obi-wan kenobi and of course you got mr mr Sluk skywalker is really upset about it and uh let's see how's that movie end i completely i forget well basically uh, what ends up happening is they they end up going going up against the death star yeah and luke is uh, kind of beca- coming more in into himself han solo is like cool i got my reward this is all i was supposed to do is deliver you this isn't my fight yeah he's buddy and luke's you like oh, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah yeah, Luke's like, you're a dick. And he's like, dude, I got you here. Shut the fuck up. And the, you know? the, the fastest heap of junk in the in the galaxy. Yeah, it's like, wow, if you say it like that, I can make you sound like an asshole too, Luke. <laughs> you know, basically. And at the last second when, when uh, uh, Vader is going after Luke, Han comes back for that last little epic, yep. you know. woo yeah. yeah, woo yeah. And he's going and he hears Ben start to talk to him. And he's like, use the Force. And use this the is where, force. yeah. Mm. Yeah, you start getting a lot of the contrast with things like Lord of the Rings and things like that, where the Empire's focusing on technology. Everything has to be technology, progress, push forward, be more powerful through through machines. Mm-hmm. And you've got, you know, the rebels who are like, we're we're working with what we have. And you see a lot of it in Lord of the Rings too, where they're, you know, they're using wooden bows, the Orakai are using crossbows, yeah. very, very Luddite mentality. And at the end, it it's not technology and and everything else that saves the day it's space magic fate in a it's, it's yeah it's space magic it's his faith in himself it's i get foreshadowing to the to the prequels it's yeah just feel it use your instincts guide off it you used to want you used to bullseye womp rats back home and they're no bigger than two meters you fucking got this you can hit that exhaust port have, have some just confidence just, yeah yeah the full sack up son always yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it kind of they kind of reference it also in like Far Cry Three. If you ever, or yeah, Far Cry Three, where he's like, I've never shot a gun before, and I don't know if I can do this. He goes, Society taught you how to fail, nature didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that too. But yeah, so he ends up blowing up the Death Star by shooting a basically an iron torpedo. Iron torpedo they through. never call it that, but <laughs> yeah, it, it, well they couldn't call it a photon torpedo. Yeah, there's some yeah. lawsuits there. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Again, let's let's be honest. J.J. Abrams have the has the dream job. He's working with both fucking star. That's true. You've been playing both sides. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Fuck J.J. Abrams right in his fucking ass. <laughs> Is that jealousy talking? It's not jealousy. Just fuck him and fuck everything about him and just fuck his kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, part of me agrees with you simply because I wish I was him. Yeah. No, no, I, I think he's a super nice guy, but I fucking hope he gets Lou Gehrig's disease, man. Oh, like, fuck this yes. guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> No one in life could be that lucky. No, no it's like, it, what, no, what pissing me off about him is everybody's like just slobbing his knob thinking he's King Nerd. And it's oh. like, dude, he made Buffy and he wrote some comic books and yeah. fuck this guy. Yeah, but. Yeah, no, that's true. And, oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry, that's uh, that's Josh Whedon. Josh Whedon made Buffy, that's my yeah. bad. But I mean, just, like, just, oh, yeah. J.J. Abrams is just like, he's supposed to be this King Nerd. And you know what? Nobody heard about him until, fuck, I don't even know when he first uh, popped on the scene. Film, but it was the first time that I. I knew about him, and then when they're like, "Oh, he's also gonna do Star Trek," I'm like, "Oh, the guy who did Cloverfield." And I, I'm, I, th- he did a lot of stuff for that. Thank you. But no, I mean, and I always, I always mess up Josh Whedon and J.J. Mm-hmm. Abrams, and that's a, my bad. I have to apologize to all my nerds out there. But yeah, just fucking You're gonna his get ass, man. I just, for that. I, I just, I just can't stand the guy. Like if I ever meet him in public, I'm going to jail for slapping him. Well, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> You know what it is? Is like you want to be on the opposite side of the spectrum. Right? You're right. Everyone's slobbing his knob and loving on him. And like, I only reason I only reason I I actually I respect him simply because he's doing the projects that like I wish I was doing. I would love to get my hands in fucking yeah. Star Trek and Star Wars. I mean, there you go. You got he's he's monopolizing these fucking 
iconic names, man. No, he is. He, he's doing a great thing. He is. He is running with his nerdness. He's running, but he openly admits in an interview that he's more of a Star Trek fan than a Star Wars fan, and is just like, "Oh, you should have never said that, you <laughs> fuckstick." Yeah, people want to kill him. Yeah, but but here here's the here's the most hilarious thing about about that statement. Um, he doesn't know how to make Star Trek, but he makes one hell of a Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, we'll get into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, go ahead. But, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, you know, honestly, like, again, I have nothing like <laughs> personally against the guy, but Lou Gehrig's is his eye. No. Anyways. Um, <laughs> that asshole. <laughs> fuck that asshole. But no. He, when I say that he did make a good Star Wars, it's it's because uh, again, we'll we'll get into Seven as much as I want, but I really want to say that he is the king of of uh, uh, of plagiarism he didn't give me a new movie he gave me number four everything oh. we just talked about everything we just talked about we can literally you just described number seven more or less and i and i've got i've got a really good explanation for all of that too once we get to that okay cool nerd, so now so so, nerd, so it blows nerd. up death star everybody everybody celebrates yay we blew up the death star we're free leads into the fifth movie and uh, and uh, here we go with the greatest now, movie in the trilogy who wants Great. to explain number five Okay, oh. but here, real quick. So here's what here's what happens. Okay. They make Star Wars. They don't know if this is going to be a success or not. They uh, they believed in this movie so little that they gave uh, Lucas full franchising rights because eh, who's going to like this? This will make us. This will make its money back. Maybe cool. He went over budget. He was he was over time, and everyone's just like, yeah, screw it. You can keep it. He had the franchise rights. And you remember too. This is at a time when people didn't really market out movies with toys and things like that. Oh, he so bored he the it. shit out of that movie. Yeah. Now here's the here's the other thing. The the that Christmas the toys weren't available, so they were giving out vouchers that would be filled in February. It was known as the 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 Christmas of empty boxes, which is really funny. It also influenced the sizes of G.I. Joe. Hmm. G.I. Joe used to be a very big toy, but then Star yeah, Wars he was like, came out. He was like 16 inches, right? He was like yes. 12, 16 inches? Yep. The Star Wars toys were small. So to start to compete and everything like that, well, you can't take your G.I. Joes and play with the Star Wars. G.I. Joe became very small yeah. so that it would fit in with all these stuff so people continue to buy their toys as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, the other thing is... After this movie got released, people were going, oh my god, this movie is so awesome. When are you making Star Wars 2? When are you making Star Wars 2? When are you making Star Wars 2? Fuck you, here's episode 5. <laughs> he named it episode 5 for two reasons. One, he didn't want to do Star Wars 2. And two, episodic movies were actually kind of popular at the time. Hmm. When you would go, you would get like a small grindhouse film and for your movie That's would play. That's true, I, 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 I believe it, that. every week, the movie theater would show a different one for the grindhouse movie so it'd be episode one two through whatever and so if you showed up to this movie and you had your little movie beforehand and it was episode three well oh my god when do i have to come back to see the other ones so that's why he named it five because hey look you missed some stuff then when they did the re-release he called it number four yep. and nicknamed it a new hope very interesting so yeah. which one of you gentlemen or lady wants to do number five i gotta take honors on this one because it yeah, is ahead. by far oh, my yeah. <clears throat> so yeah it, it is by far and away the greatest one out of the all of them out of all seven and people argue with me all this all the time it's just my i, I don't want to start a, a giant don't you know, shovel lightsaber up my ass. It's yeah. just my personal favorite. Well, you know, a lot of people actually think Empire is better than Jedi. I that... actually like Jedi better than Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, don't shovel a lightsaber up my ass. It's just <laughs> it's my thing. Now, here's why. So, I'm going to do a much quicker overview uh, yeah. just yeah. for time's sake. Uh, so, we start off, uh, it opens up again the scroll. Who doesn't love the scroll? Oh, of course. <sighs> like, oh, oh, God. Yeah. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Um, we were on Hoth, the, the ice planet. Again, like we just talked about earlier, I love how every galaxy, there is like a one Terra for every fucking planet. <laughs> yeah. And so here we went from one extreme coal, uh, heat to now we're on the coal planet. Yeah. Awesome battle where the we got the the walkers, the ATATs, yeah. we've got the speeders. Oh, just a, such a fucking beautiful battle that starts off. And you got Luke getting shoved into a tauntaun for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that iconic fucking uh, line... By, by Solo. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Yeah, so, yeah. oh, God, so good. Uh, so so, you, so you, you set up this this great, uh, we got all our characters back, and here we go. Um, Luke then is going to take on. Gets the first on... base with his sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
yeah. first base with his Man. sister. Again, at this point in the script, they still didn't they 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 weren't thinking they were brother and sister. This was just a, a love triangle that they were doing as a funny thing. Right. She was she was kissing Luke to make Han jealous. Yes. Let's be honest. Yeah. She's always wanting yeah. to slob his. Oh yeah. Oh no. She was totally into the bad boy. Yeah. Now okay. Now cuteness again. I get to bring a girl into this just from a girl's point of view. Han Solo or Luke Skywalker? Who you who who slob a knob on? Oh good lord, that's easy. Han Solo, damn. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Bad boy, the bad boy. Oh, yes. yep. Someone oh, who yeah. knows how to handle a blaster. No offense, right. Mark Hamill. Let, let us let us say that. Yeah. No offense, Mark Hamill, but oh, we love you, the Hamill. Character, the character oh, you played him. was a bit of a whiny bitch at the time. Yes, <laughs> a little bit. And uh, well, I'm trying reflective to be nice. Young, uh, reflective of, of his young father. Yes. <laughs> And, uh, That's one thing you got right. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah. So, so of course the bad boy is gonna win out every time. You got the oh, bad boy gunslinger, fucking slash uh, scoundrel of the universe. Oh, he's there. he's slick. Oh yeah. He's fucking attractive. He's confident. He's, he's always talking. standing there with like one hand on the hip and one leg out because his dick's so big. I've got he one thing to say to you. Up, straight, okay. Stand straight up and down. If, if you're gonna argue, if Hans, I mean, no one here is arguing, but if anyone's gonna argue about Han Solo being a badass. I've got one line for you. I love you. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not even, I'm not even going to say no homo because it's full, 100% full blast homo. Yes. Oh, I yeah. fell for Han Solo at that line. Yep. Like, and what's funny is yeah, that, that that original line was he was supposed to say, I love you too. And he goes, no. He goes, Han Solo would not say this. He says, can we do, can we do another take? I have an idea. Yep. And they rolled it, mm. and he goes, I know. And they use that take. That serious oh, face he has, yeah. man. When he yeah, talks. just like, That's, of course you love me. Yeah. 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 So, so you, so you have that battle scene. Obviously, Luke gets the message uh, from beyond the grave to well, go to Dagobah well, and go forget, train. With... You forget one of the best things. They first, and I'm, I'm a big Star Wall. Wars like uh, vehicle fan. The, the oh, snow speeders, the man. Snow speeders. The snow speeders. The yes. snow speeders, and when they trip the ATST to fall, or was it the ATAT? I can't never remember. ATAT. AT now AT here's the question, though: Why the fuck did that thing have a tow cable to begin with? Hey, uh, got that's what I thought. No, no, I got this. I, no, fuck <laughs> okay. you, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm from Colorado. I've also lived in Wisconsin. It's snowy. It sucks, and yeah. you know your vehicle might get stuck in the snow. Just saying. Well, yeah, they did. They did. Have... Yeah, but they're flying above it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if it crashes? I mean, yeah, you know, I, that you makes sense. Well, you know what? I think that's true. I think at one point they did say something about sending out the snow speeders to collect the vehicles or something like that because yeah. I think some some of the snow speeders actually froze. Yeah. Was... So I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, so, that makes okay, sense. but you know what? Yeah. Since, since we are talking about the the snow speeders. I always felt bad, and I watched the movie over and over and over again. You gotta think, if you're the guy piloting for Luke Skywalker, that you're gonna make it through this battle. No, <laughs> that guy fucking dies. <laughs> I'm a main character. <laughs> like, dude, dude, no, a sir, Skywalker. you are a fucking red shirt. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm a Skywalker. So, no. I'm good, dude. I'm getting through this. I, you, the rest of you guys are fucked. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets that very cryptic message. Go to Dagobah. He takes R2-D2 because R2-D2 is a badass droid. We'll touch more on him later. But he goes to Dagobah, and he finds uh, – first of all, you've got all this technology. I know Dagobah is supposed to be like a uh, 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 planet that's got high dark side energy and it's uh messes with his equipment but out of all the places that that luke could land he lands in a fucking swamp and sinks the fucking plane hey, like, is he really supposed to be dude? a really good pilot <laughs> hey he, he can fly no one said he can land <laughs> <laughs> now the biggest problem i have is apparently there was a giant armada surrounding that entire planet and everybody made it through there no problem because they must have all just been on one side or something Right, yeah. Sun, like that's – that is – again, that's lazy writing or bad writing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just it, – yeah, they all get through. I'm really – but they do say something about going in waves, like flying that's out true. waves. Yeah, that's so, – I don't know. Maybe, maybe, the Empire was also probably going, it's a rebel base. Send a handful of ships. Yeah. Right. Like, fuck these fucking rebels. Fuck ISIS, man. We could take them out. We got this. Like, yeah. so, but, so he gets the Dagobah, and it's one of the most iconic scenes, and because yeah. just so many quotable lines. He meets Yoda, who he thinks is just this crazy little green Kermit the Frog on crack. More yeah. or less. <laughs> and, and, the, and the infamous dub line of where he doesn't even move his mouth when he says, we got to find Yoda. And if you watch, his mouth doesn't move if he even exists. Yeah. Right. Because again, they weren't sure if there was going to be a Yoda because they couldn't get the puppetry right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, so they got in training, and this is where, and this is why I love the movie because this really goes into 
what it means to be a Jedi, what it is to be the Force, how to train. Everybody always makes fun of me, like, does he really have to stand upside down and fucking float rocks? Yes. yes. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's teaching yeah, it's you how training. to yeah. – It's mental training. It's not a – the force is not a physical thing. Everybody likes to do that. Like everybody, like in the movies and video games, they do some big force thing and they get physically tired. It's yeah. not supposed to be a, a a physical thing. It's a mental thing. It's a yeah. feelings yeah. thing. You know, it's it's a it's space magic. Yeah. Uh, so and he does these intense. He does some awesome parkour. We got we got Luke jumping around and people are like, oh, does he have to jump and do flips? Yes, because that's the force in itself. Force run. Force. You yeah, know, force jump. Jump, jump, force kicks. Force. Yeah, I mean, you see force kicks in the force in the backflip. Mm. Right, <laughs> and, and he even does the force climb where he's climbing with Yoda on his back, and he's he's doing the yep. and he's not even uses his legs. So props to Mark Hamill because I heard, oh, and I don't, I, know, I don't know if that's true, but I heard he actually did that rope climb scene, and that was him. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so props to Mark Hamill. So props to Mark Hamill because he doesn't even have the force and he does that. And I'm a pretty fit guy <laughs> and I can't even do that. <laughs> yeah. So so you got this. And that's again why I love it. And I'm sorry, Wild. You know about this, uh, Sunry. I don't know if you know. Uh, I, I I teach martial arts. Yep. One of the, one of the greatest lines, and just so quotable to everything in life is no do or do not. There is no try. Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah, it is just one of the most yeah. iconic lines in in every movie, and that's why I love the the fifth one so much is because there's so many good, relatable quotes that you can bring out of the movie into your own life and really kind of absorb. And that's why I think that I love Star Wars and, and it impacts my life so much is because it's so relatable in so many ways and so many yeah, life. That's true. Well, let's let's be honest. What what Yoda is really telling uh, Luke Skywalker by saying that is stop being a pussy. You will. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Like, Stop being a whiny little bitch, and yeah. uh, and and like when he sends when he sends him into that area of concentrated dark force energy, which again there's a lot of theory and a lot of what's going on with you know what is exactly going on with that. When he tells him what will I face, you know, and it's just like or what you know you know what will I face when I go in there, and he says only what you bring with you. Yeah. He's really not talking about his weapons. He really is talking about his personal emotional yeah. baggage. Yes. His demons. He's talking yeah, about his demons. he is. Exactly. He is quite literally facing a dark side force for the first time, and you know, to you know, and that's why Yoda didn't want him to take the weapons. He wanted him to feel that vulnerability, mm -hmm. to understand. And so when he went in there and ended, ended up fighting, and he saw that that was a very that was symbolic in a couple of ways. Is one, it's him quite physically and understanding that if he goes down the dark side, he will become Vader. Yeah. Yes, that's the, the, the head cut off scene where it pops yep. open and it's mm -hmm. his face. Yep. And, and also, it's also the Force telling him, kind of indicating to him as he's learning the Force, there is some con deep connection between you and Vader that you don't exactly. understand yet. The, 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 the foreshadowing. Um, yep. So there's like I said, this is why I love the movie because there's so much about that scene. So then he gets, you know, then he's meditating and he and he sees Han, Luke, and Leia uh, getting fucked up on Cloud City. So he's like, oh, I got to dip out. And this is a great, another great moment in the Jedi world as well because it shows the rash, impulsive behavior yeah. that Jedi's need to strive away from because with your powers will come things like this. And this harkens back to Anakin Skywalker. He fell to the dark side because he got a flash of, of Padme dying or Queen Amidala, or if you will. Mom. Uh, yeah, or his mom. That's, yeah. And that's what I love because even without the prequels of being, you know, being planned at that time, when Yoda says, when he says something, you know, tells basically if you go now and you give in, you will yeah. fall to the dark side. You will. And he says, he goes, what will happen? He says, well, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to be in, you know, uh, basically uh, seduced by the dark side. He says, if you leave now, you will be. Mm -hmm. You will be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, but and that shows, and that just shows. We'll get to that when we get to Cloud yeah. City. But it shows yeah. how strong Luke is that. Yoda was so deeply afraid that he was going to – like he, he was. He was doing exactly what his father did. He saw a premonition, and that was going to follow him down to the dark yep. side just like his father. But Luke didn't fall to the dark side, which brings us to him flying off to Cloud City, which brings in the token black guy of Star Wars. You got yeah. uh, Lando <laughs> – Lando La Calrissian. Lando Billy Calrissian. D. Williams. Played by Billy D. Williams, Colt 45. You got to uh, admit, though, you got to admit, pretty badass person. Oh, he's, dude, he's, when he's, I saw uh, Billy D. walk out, I didn't even know who he was be before seeing that movie. Yeah. And I saw him walk out. I'm like, this guy's cool. Smooth talking. He's like the he, black console. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. he even ends up wearing his clothing. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But um, <laughs> one of my favorite, one of my favorite scenes that also shows just kind of like the scoundrelness of the writing was so good in that scene where when they saw each other, when Lando and Han saw each other, it was just two dudes ripping on each other. Yep. And it was like, so you great. You guys are friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. This, this piece of yep. shit. Yeah. We're totally friends. 
Me and yep. this piece of shit go way back. And it's just like, <laughs> but your friends, it's it's just guys being guys. Like, you know, let's just whip out our dicks and let's grunt like gorillas at each other. But it's so oh, good. Yeah. Well, me and I, I can't tell you how, like, me and Wild and stuff like that, there's been times where people are like, God damn, is that you're talking to your friend? I said, oh, yeah, it's my best friend. That's why when I call him up, I go, what's up, bitch ass fucker? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's how we greet each other. That's, Talk knocker. That's how, yeah, that's how you know you're really good friends. Yeah. yeah so, so then you get there. And again, one more, again, a, a great iconic line. Um, I've altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. So you get you get mm-hmm. how twisted uh, Vader is, and there's the trap. And then you bring in Boba Fett, who, by the way, Boba Fett is the biggest bitch in Star Wars. Oh yeah, yeah I said it. Yes. Oh, I said yes. it. I yes. went there. Oh, he is. He's five lines, a dented helmet, and, and dies like a bitch. Yeah, I went. He there. dies in a fucking anus. <laughs> yeah, and it's a, a, a sandy anus. A sandy, in space. A, sandy, a, sandy anus. a sandy space anus. You can quote me on this, everyone. <laughs> Boba space Fett anus. dies in a sandy space anus. Yeah, the worst jock itch in the galaxy. <laughs> so yeah, so so you you get this betrayal, and I I love that because it's not a betrayal. It's it's Lando trying to protect a city from the Empire, really trying to stay neutral. He really tries to pull a Switzerland in this moment. Like he's just yeah, like, he not in this. yeah. But it's, he's like, look, not... I'll give you I'll give you Han. Leave me the fuck alone. And Vader's like, sure. And and and, and Lando goes, nobody dies though. That was his deal too. Yep. Nobody yep. dies. Yep. Nobody dies. Instead, you know, the all you know, torture him. Pray don't. Ultimately... And rip C and rip C three PO apart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, whatever. But you know, it, you know what's a, and then a great scene, that awesome scene, and again, just shows how much of a badass fucking here. Okay, so doors open. Vader sitting there in his pimp chair, drinking his apple teeny. Yeah, <laughs> everyone <laughs> drinks apple teenies. <laughs> hey, I love me some apple teenies. O- just... Only Luke drinks a gin and tonic. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, but what? But but okay. So he stands up, and everybody freaks out. Here is certain death. Here is the man that destroys planet, the most feared man in the galaxy. And what does Han Solo do? He doesn't run like a bitch. He whips out his blaster and just starts fucking shooting. Yep. Like, yep. fuck Vader. Now, Vader in his ultimate badass just, like, pimp slaps the laser and was like, give me that gun, bitch. Like, <laughs> That's mine. Yeah. That is That's mine. Mine. <laughs> mine. It's now mine by way of my actions. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And it, but I love but that Han does Solo. show. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but what a great scene because like it, again, it shows Han Solo just being a, a true badass. And no one else steps up. Han Solo, yeah. he sees he sees it and he reacts. You know, even I don't even think Chewie. I don't think Chewie is in that scene. But I don't, you know what else? Chewie, like oh, that's right. Like, ah. Sean draws and fires. So. Yeah. Yeah. So he takes the gun, and then obviously the greatest line that we already talked about: "I love you, I know." Frozen and carbonite, all that good mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Chewie flipping his shit. You know, C three PO is just destroyed. He's Here talk, comes Luke talking in a backpack. He's pretty much everywhere <laughs> nowadays. Dream they have like C three PO in the back on. Oh God, goodness gracious me! You know. Yeah, which was actually I I, I love C three PO in that scene because he was hilarious. Yeah, he broke up no. the tension enough while the action was actually happening. Yeah. Yeah, and you, and you had that great chase scene where they're firing and blaster bolts are going down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so he gets frozen, and here comes Luke trying to be a badass, but he's like 20 minutes too late because he stopped off and got a tasty freeze and a burger. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's a long yeah, he, well, yeah, he stopped off at White Castle to get some sliders, and then went to Tasty Freeze <laughs> oh, and got himself yes. a blizzard. What really yeah, happened? Exactly. What really happened is he went to Space Del Taco and he had to take <laughs> a space shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> R2, where's the closest restroom? The rents do. R2. <laughs> <laughs> R2, this, this, this macho burrito really fucking screwed me over. And this, then, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead I'm sorry. And, and then you get it. And then you get that moment that we've all been jerking off to. It's like the biggest tease ever. You get yeah. Luke and you get Vader with the final lightsaber battle. What's the final, but one of the best lightsaber battles. And what's so awesome is as much as Vader is a badass, because that's the moment where like Luke loses him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and he finds him because, you know, he's got that fucking breathing problem. Yeah. <sighs> but, like, He's so quick. He's so fast that he can dodge Luke in every turn and blows him out of a fucking window, which is awesome. Yep. Yeah, that was um, one of my favorite favorite parts of that fight. Um, and then and then and then again, now we gotta talk about it because we can talk. We can rant about this forever. Mm-hmm. Um, did Obi Wan tell you about your father? He, he told, told me he enough. Killed... Oh yes, yeah. I wanted to do that line so bad. He well, told me enough. Okay. He told me for that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Before that though, the one thing that bothers the hell out of me only because in without knowing what we know about movies and stuff like that. The line, Obi-Wan has taught you well. Yes. Why yes. did he not know anything? He's he's kind of run into Luke before, 
So why was he under the under the assumption that up until that point when he when Ben in Obi Wan disappears that he was teaching Luke that much for that long? Well, well, you know what's he better? should I mean, have known that Yoda had been teaching him, but because no. we know that Yoda was a – we're not sure in the movie, that's so it makes sense. Well, no. Okay, okay, Senator. I'm so glad you brought up that point because mm-hmm. people argue about this all the time. Yoda went to Dagobah because of dark side energy, and it masks his energy, and nobody can find him out right. so that he can escape Order 66. On top of that, you get the, the sense that he knows that he was on the Millennium Falcon. He knows that Ben was on him, and Ben is – or Obi-Wan, is clearly in his 50s at this point, and Luke is clearly in his 20s. He just has to assume that he's been training him since birth. And when he battles him in number in episode 5, he puts up a good fight. And mind you, he's only been training for, what, a year? Maybe two? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. And, and, and Anakin is the – and as we know from the prequels, Anakin is the best sword or the best lightsaber fighter in the galaxy at that moment. So the fact that he gives him such a good fight and he's like, wow, I'm impressed. Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan has taught you well because who else would have been teaching him? And between movies four and five, I think it says in the scroll, it's only like, what, a year later? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. it's five years. It's five five, years. five yeah. years. So again, so he knows he's been dead. So who could have been teaching him for this past five years? He must have been teaching you before he died, before I struck him down and he disappeared into a cloud of vapor. Well, three yeah, hours okay, that's true. I'll, I'll give you that. That makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. I, like I said, I think about this a lot. So again, we have that moment. And go ahead, uh, Wild. Go ahead, man. What, what? Did, did he tell you about your father? Oh, he told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Dun, dun, oh. dun. Everyone in the audience loses their shit, from my understanding. That everyone who has watched that scene got, has gone, what? That's like what everybody, I did. Like, yeah, collectively, shit just fell out of everybody's ass. Yeah, like yeah. It fricks. Well, this is the sad part. You know, I believe Darth Vader generally means dark, dark father. Yeah. Uh, Vader in German, yeah, yeah. father. Yep. Yeah. Um. And, and again, he's he's and so here you are. You got. I love putting myself in Luke's situation here. Here I am. I'm tired. I just got in a, a a serious battle. All my friends got fucked up. You just cut off my masturbation hand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like with the, the uh, thumb that makes the guy jump when I play video games. It's been yeah, It's been a really like, bad day. It's been a really yeah. bad day. I did and not see my day going like this. <laughs> and, and now you literally dropped a bomb that you're my dad. Fuck my life. Well, here's the question. You know, somewhere deep down in his mind, he goes, I should have listened to fucking Yoda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, interesting enough, during that scene, again, like, I love all these little trivia things and stuff like that I've learned about. Originally, during that scene, when he says, you know, he told me enough, you killed him. The line they used during the live action portion before James Earl Jones recorded the lines was, he was your father. Oh. What? And, and, yes, uh, but oh. at this point, they had known that Vader was going to be uh, Luke's Luke's father, and they didn't want anyone else to know about it. There was basically James Earl Jones, a sound tech, and like one or two other people in the room, and James Earl Jones reads the lines, and he literally stops in, stops in the recording booth and goes, Are you serious? <laughs> and they said, yes. Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. So, yes, he really is. And it was such a shock to audiences that in Jedi, they actually had to have Yoda confirm it because people didn't believe what Vader was saying. Yeah. Because it was so shocking. Is this another dark side ploy to get – yeah, I totally feel that. And then then in that whole moment, he kind of does that little pass out backflip, which is – you know, if you're going to fall down a a seemingly giant chasm, do a flip. Do a flip. Oh, God, yes. Do a barrel yeah. roll. <laughs> Do a flip. <laughs> I, I'm always reminded of Bender from Futurama when Hermes is going to jump off the cliff. Do a flip. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, here, here's an interesting theory. Before – oh, because oh, he, he, tell, he even tells him that, you know, if you don't join me, there's still someone else who will, your sister. Well, that's in the, that's in the, the, that's in the yeah. third one. Now, with, with, that, with that being said, this is why I'm bringing that up. Yeah. When he says, search your feelings, you know it to be true. At that point, when he was kind of doing that whole je- you know, mind-reading type thing that, that Jedi and Sith can do, right. there must have been some indication to him that Leia was his sister because that is who he calls out to. He knows Han Solo's there. He knows yep. he's the one flying. He calls out to Leia because he knows somehow they are connected from that brief glimpse into Vader's mind. Yeah. Well, it also might be the fact that she kissed him twice and gave him a chubby. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, Dude, did anybody else get a half chub when she kissed me? Oh man, totally. Lucas, you are such a dirty birdie. No, yeah. and so so he falls down. He, he does. He, that's a great point. He calls out to Leia. They get away, but 
here's the thing. What again that I love about this movie? It's not necessarily a happy ending. It's yeah. a real life ending with real life consequences. Like oh, fuck, if you're yeah, gonna yeah. if you're gonna go up against the Dark Lord, you're gonna get your fucking shit cut off, and on top of that, you're gonna find out some bad news that's gonna you're gonna get mildly depressed, and you might have to take some Xanax for a couple days. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had, to, he had to, well his his version of Xanax was a bat to take, and then looking out into the darkness. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> In the droids, right? But there's that cool moment where he's getting his hand put on, and, he, and it's like, sweet, I'm going to jerk off with his hand. Like, he's super psyched about his hand getting back on. I would be, too. <laughs> like, because, like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I can't pitch left-handed. So it's like, hey, cool. So, so the, and the movie ends. But the movie ends with, I think they cut it so perfectly. They, they cut it with just a whole audience just stunned mm-hmm. and just flabbergasted of what they just heard. Because Yoda didn't confirm it yet. Nobody okay. confirmed it. You're, you're sitting there wondering. Holy fuck! Is this real? Well, the like, yeah, face... he's, getting, he's getting a new hand. You know, mm. they're 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 yeah. testing it with the. And at the time, come on, that was really cool effects with 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 the servos moving yeah. in his wrist. Yeah, and you know what? I'm sorry, but if there was a Facebook in '81, because that's when the movie came out, I think. Uh, it, if there was a Facebook, everybody would have been like, "Fucking Vader's his dad." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not so, kidding. Be Twitter. You can't be my daddy. Be Twitter. So, and you know, what? it's so funny because now you get this like jaded culture of Star Wars nerds who already know it because they know the line, they know the iconic thing. Yeah. There's a great YouTube video, and anybody listen to this, I, I suggest you go listen to it. It's kids watching Star Wars for the first time. Yep. And oh yeah. When, and when five and six year olds, and I think I think there's like the ages of the kids are like from between five and ten, so they don't know anything about it. And then when they watch it, they're shocked faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I imagine what happened in the eighties when people watch that. Full yeah. grown adults just being like, my mind just got blown with T and my mind was Alderaan. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you not booed my head. Yeah, yeah. You're not booed my head. It's, <laughs> it's gone. So yeah. so. So and that's why it ends up being my favorite because you get so much of what it means to be a Jedi, how to train, good life lessons, and hey, sometimes you can you can do everything right and you can defend your friends and you can walk the path of righteousness and still guess what come up short and missing a hand. Yeah. So that's my take on the fifth one and why I just believe it's just the best one with such great dialogue and such great writing and there's not too many mistakes that we can really get on other than them leaving Hoth and and escaping past yeah 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 they're, they're drug chips but it, i mean yeah that, it's that that one i think i think that's when like star wars really as far as the writing goes kind of like well, okay well this is where we're gonna go people like the first one so we're gonna go yeah. this direction with it and because they did that it just grew yeah now and then and then you have jedi which starts off interestingly slow Very. but mm-hmm. it yeah. is building it it's building character and Han Solo was not supposed to come back. Harrison Ford had just done Indiana Jones. And this is when Spielberg and Lucas were getting real buddy buddy, <laughs> you know, and, and they were doing a lot of things together. And they even said, you know, he Harrison Ford probably shouldn't come back. It's gonna be confusing. He he was just in another movie as Indiana Jones. Do we really need to bring Han Solo back? Maybe he's dead. The Carbonite killed him. And so he he's a trophy. And they went back and forth for a while, and eventually Harrison Ford went. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> so they ended up bringing Han Solo back. And it was kind of interesting the way they did it because I think that one – how many years did that one take place? Because Leia tells him, uh, you've been in Carbonite for what? Like two years, I think. Two years, uh, three yeah, years or something like that. Years. And so it you know, explains like he can't see and everything like that. And I love the reveal when he's standing up and all of a sudden the wall turns around and Jabba's st- staring at him and he's just kind of like – What's oh. up, dude? Yeah. Are we are we all are we doing? all just gonna blaze over the fucking gold bikini? Are we just not gonna talk about that? Oh no, we're getting there. Oh no, yeah. No, no, we cannot we cannot miss talking Fisher. about this. We cannot no, yeah. yeah, we can't Yeah, we, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah. That's like every nerd's fucking jerk off fantasy for oh, like yeah. that time to oh. even now. So cuteness, no, I got I gotta ask because now it's up and now it's in the air. Cuteness, have you ever done the cosplay? No, I haven't. Oh damn. I know. <laughs> We'll, like, we'll, I think we'll do, every... do it without the hair buns. <laughs> right. Well, my like, hair is yeah. probably long enough. I oh, I know probably it is. Do it. Yeah. So there's, oh my god, but oh, dude, that 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 scene though when he comes in with the black robes, which I thought it was a very interesting take yeah. that Luke decided to dress in black robes. Yeah, he was always in like light yeah. colors up and you know. Yeah, and you can was. tell he is so much more confident in his abilities because he just walks in like I could kill all of you right now. Uh-huh. Well, he Jedi, well, he, and he Jedi mind tricks that one ugly fuck stick with the dick yep. like head, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so so you have you have the uh, like we said the the the, the slave Leia. <laughs> yeah. What everybody calls a slave Leia this with, with hot. Carrie Fisher in in the in the bikini, you know, laying, you know, and she's laying there all sexy all with the oh, jeans God. on her on her and everything like that. And <laughs> yeah, it it was just like a yeah yeah. I think so, every man that saw that that particular pose with her laying there and like he's pulling on the chain and shit wants to hump Carrie Fisher's leg at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like you want to, you want to be an Ewok, just humping the shit. Like, like <laughs> I don't even care where your dick is at. You're just hoping it touches some part of her body. Jump, jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, what I love about that scene, and again, because we love throwing out fun facts, is um, nowadays Carrie Fisher talks about the feminist movement and how you know should people idolize the gold bikini, and she always she loves to bring it up in the fact that. You got to remember that Leia was put in that gold bikini as a slave yep. by Jabba the Hutt, and what does she do because of it? She chokes that motherfucker to death with the chain. With the chain. Yeah. With the chain. It was, it was it was pretty freaking awesome. There's so like, many, and again, yeah. and again, because I love the female point of view. I gotta ask, cuteness. Did you just stand up and like like scream like yeah, women power? Because like she's choking the shit out of basically the master that's that's treating her like shit. I I was actually surprised that she was able to do it because a lot of movies they show that women are like kind of that... weak, and she was like badass and trying to choke him, and she didn't give up. That, yeah. yeah, that's that's how badass she is, and that I think that's what was a good show of her being badass at that time. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, she's well, not a pussy. She's not going to just roll over. Yeah. She's just well, this, she's like, uh, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> well, let's not, let's not forget the fact that, because we did kind of gloss over it in the first movie, number four, in, an, in A New Hope, she's the one who gets the blaster fire. She stands right in the middle of the hallway in the detention yeah. scene, blasting. She, she's the one who saves She them. can shoot. <laughs> yeah, she picks it up. She's firing back. She takes out a couple stormtroopers, and and I love that she's like, you know, we need to get out of here. And they're like, where? And she's like, she give me that. Charge. Boom. God, think about it. And, and you know. Yeah, she takes charge. She's yeah, badass. She, yeah. Yeah. Which, she's which not just me. a fucking little damsel. Come save me. Yeah. Which drives, which, which drives me nuts that, that feminists, especially and, 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 and nerds, and the reason why in 7 we have uh, Rey as a, as a main character, like, there's no strong female leads in, in Star Wars. Did you there's fucking watch Star Wars? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like Leia was like actually instrumental in a lot of things. She was instrumental in the attack on the Death Star. Mm -hmm. She was the one who got everybody together to find the plans. She the saved general. Luke and Han. She saved yeah. Luke again. Yeah. Yeah. What by telling because Solo's like, no, we need to leave, and she's like, no, you're turning around right now. <laughs> you know, she did. She she never took shit in in the in the in the movies. She kills she kills a hut, which yeah. apparently is not easy to do yeah. according to like all the old canon. And and stuff like that yeah she right, did so, a lot so and that's and, I, and like i said i'm so, I, it just drives me nuts because it's just like it's, it's hard to argue like oh i see a strong woman in land and, and girls like well you're not a woman it's not a feminist thing you know eat a dick because that bitch is fucking awesome mm -hmm. yeah. yes and i and honestly i think what the problem is it's an attractive woman who's doing strong things so therefore if she's attractive it's just about the sex it's just about the sexual uh, uh, appearance of her yeah. and not about her character yeah. if someone's fat and ugly and does the same thing yeah woman power but if she's attractive oh my god she's just there for eye candy yep. yeah yeah so that, and that that's yeah. what drives me crazy about oh, it oh pisses me off it's oh, good. Yay, cuteness. Yeah, get in on this because I, yeah, I yeah. really want to hear the female. <laughs> no, because it, 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 cause, like, it's males talking about like – because like, everybody's like, oh, it's a sexist world. It's only for guys. And it's like, dude, there's so many strong women in this fucking movie. It, yeah. Uh, well, let's be honest. You know, For the longest time, uh, Leia was the only female in the universe. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. She was like Smurfette. Yeah. But, yeah, but again, yeah. it's 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 not it's not where they're trying to like 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 uh Sunrise said it's not like they're trying to dumb down her abilities. And again, that gold bikini, yes, we all love to spank about it. Let's 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 sexualize her to all yeah. no out. No, but yeah, so it's like so here you got this you got this badass <laughs> bitch, and yeah, of course I want to I want to sexualize her, and, and I mean who doesn't want to? Human on a nature, chain? if you see yeah. something like that, that you're gonna but think again, sexually. It, it wasn't yeah. Leia's choice. It was not Leia's choice right. to be that. It wasn't like she was like you know what I'm gonna go to battle. I'm gonna get on an armored bikini. Well, yeah. look what she's wearing in the in the rest of it. She's wearing like pants. She's got she's got that like a long, long sleeve shirt on. And that long cloak. In yeah, the, first the long one. cloak from the first well, one. Let's and be now, honest. She doesn't want to get sand in her vagina. That's and true. Let's, and let's and let's so. be ow. Seriously, and I, who does? And I gotta take this opportunity. Girls for a week. I got I, I got I just have to take this opportunity to all the cosplayers out there and all the people that go to Comic Con. Yes, the the gold bikini is sexy, but if you want to be sexy and you're a hot chick and you got a banging body, there is a million women choices to be strong and sexy and beautiful there's two i'm just sick i love star wars and and i and i hate and i can't believe i'm about to say this but i'm 
sick to death of seeing the gold bikini, and I'm sick to death of seeing Harley Quinn. Like, oh. yeah. I, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. The, the honestly, if you want to be the fucking sexy little little tease vixeny type, and you want to be and you want to be Leia, wear that skin clinging body accenting white robe that's or dress that she wore in the very first one hmm. where, where he where he comes walking in and she's laying down in the same in the same type of position as when she was done up in the slave girl when he opens up that oh yeah you're a little, the, you're the little jail short, cell yeah. and he kind of looks oh, at her like yeah, oh yeah, yeah. shit ding yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that i think is sexier than i mean yes the slave bikini is real nice and she's jumping around you see her ass but that dress <laughs> but she's... that's more sexy to see walk around yeah, yeah. You, you got to see booty that real sh- yeah that real sheer see your body shape that that's sexy. Sometimes it, it, sometimes the imagination, a little more of the imagination makes it good. But yeah. I see, I see what uh, what Gambit's saying. Yeah, and, and I, you know, as much as I love Harley Quinn, because I have a big old crush on that 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 uh, yeah. character. Uh, women, ladies, there are a thousand different people you can you can cosplay yeah. as. But let's get back on topic. Uh, where were we at on on epi- on this episode? Well, uh, so, so he finally in. kills him. Yeah, Luke has come in. He get, he fights that rancor rancor in the, the that epic epic fight under underneath the uh, yes. uh, Java's palace, which is really cool. That and one which scared is, me when I was little. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I love how they parody that in so many things, like with the Family Guy. Gee, I didn't know that uh, that Green whatever was a was a Jedi name. <laughs> yeah, you know, when, when that lawyer showed up, Greenberg or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize Greenberg was a Jedi name. Yeah, that's <laughs> hilarious. And there's okay. so many so many different like different spoofs that people came up with. I mean. Let's and, and I'm gonna say this. Let's look at and we're seeing a little bit of that now. Let's look at when Star Wars first came out, when it hit the market, how big it got, how amazingly yeah. like you couldn't go anywhere. It was on SNL. It was on every. It was on the Muppet Show. Everywhere you yep. looked, it was oh, Star yeah. Wars. Okay, we're kind of getting the same thing right now. With yeah. which I'm gonna be honest, it kind of pisses me off. So okay, so um, I don't know if you guys know. Uh, for all of my fans out there, I work at a certain game store that i should stop talking about <laughs> <laughs> you know like company issues uh but i but i get these nerd conversations all the time and what drives me nuts about the 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 over flooding of the market with with uh stuff it's like it's like you guys touched on because uh, i'm a big fan of the show you guys touched on fake geeks both male and female and i was in my store the other day and a dude came in and he had a stormtrooper shirt on and it was like decked out and uh duetas muerte you know day of the dead style and i was like oh that's a cool stormtrooper helmet and he's like storm what oh and it's just like like i love that it wants to, i love that it's getting popular and i love that it's getting more socially acceptable and i like that nerd is the new sexy hey <laughs> and uh uh, when you influx the market like this, and you try to make it everything that to everybody, and you try, and then we'll get into this really with seven, it takes away from the, the little nostalgic that it's that's that's mine. Yeah, I know I'm a nerd, and I know and I know it's not mine, but like that's how I feel. You know, well, I'm I'm that nerd. It's that part of you that that makes you feel like you're original. Yeah, it takes that. Up. Yeah. I see what you're saying. That's what I was saying. But, but that's what kind of was going with the first. Yeah, just like okay, second. like I've got, I've got I've got tattoos. Um, Gambit, I don't know I don't know if you do, but. <laughs> And He's that, got that, tattoos. That, that was the joke. That's <laughs> yeah. So you know, but we don't we don't walk. You know, and I also have a Harley, but I don't go. I'm a badass biker. I've got tattoos and a bike. You don't get to just walk into the culture. I ride my motorcycle yeah. as a stress relief. It's it's happened to me. I got my tattoos because I like my I like the artwork and I you know it's things I design. You can't just go. Oh, check it out! I've got a stormtrooper helmet. I'm a fucking nerd. Yeah, so, yeah. it doesn't work that way. Well, that's and that's and again, you guys need to listen up. Now, now you can be if Star Wars is your thing, you can be a geek. You're then then you're a geek, but you're not a nerd. Right. Yeah. I'm a nerd. I, and this my rants go on. But it's also and that goes in with the Leia bikini thing. It's like so many girls want to be like, oh, I'm geeky and I'm nerdy. I wear the gold bikini. No, you're a slut trying to look sexy. <laughs> yes, thank you. you know? <laughs> so yeah, and like I said, uh, a lot of what we were just talking about Todd was covered in episode one of Nerds New Sexy. If you guys want to listen to that for free. Uh, that's the problem. Is a, lot, a lot of people jump on the bandwagon. Yes. It's cool all of a sudden. They, you know, and you know when it wasn't cool, where were these motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? Like, yeah, like, and just for the fans out there to know just how I am that nerd. I am that nerd with with the nerd lit rage over nine thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I've got Jedi and Sith tattooed on my knuckles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
I've got Jedi in blue and Sith in red, and it's it, it is a commitment thing, and it, it's it's something that's been part of my life for my whole life. And I, I, even when I even teach martial arts, I bring up Yoda all the time. So I'm not saying don't love it, and and I and I'm not saying don't get into it, and I'm right. not saying and I'm yeah, not we're saying, not saying this is if you haven't been there since the beginning, then you can't join now. Yeah, I'm not, not what we're saying. Be I'm you. not getting hipster. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. be hipster and be like, no, you can't love this. Love it, please love it. Uh, just understand when you come into our culture, it's the best way to describe how I feel about the, the the merchandise. It's like if I were to wear an Oakland Raider shirt in Oakland and somebody comes up to me and is like, oh man, don't you love the way cars being a great quarterback here? So I, I just look at him and go, who's car? Who's cars, yeah. yeah. Right. And, and you're just like, oh God, you're just wearing the jersey. Yep. And that's it's, exactly what it is. And now jumping back, now to jump jumping back on that Jedi, we did not ramble for it. Jedi <laughs> mind trick. Um, but yeah, and then Boba Fett dies like a bitch. He takes one shot to the to the jetpack and falls into a giant, you know, sandy anus in space. Thank yeah. you, thank you for using that. I I'm so yeah. happy. Yeah. Hashtag sandy anus. Hashtag yeah. Hashtag sandy anus. Sandy anus. Just, yeah. Yeah. Hashtag n i t n s. Hashtag sandy anus. <laughs> hashtag in space. Oh. <laughs> hashtag bitches love cannons. <laughs> <laughs> team four. Team four star shout out. They they end up escaping. You you. You find out that yes, Darth Vader is Yoda's, or God, it, it, from Yoda you find out Darth Vader is Skywalker's father. Could you imagine if Darth Yoda? <laughs> oh God, yeah, Yoda. Oh, no, uh, there would be no stopping him. Your father, I am. Skywalker honestly is so confident in, in himself at this point that he literally just walks into the freaking new Death Star, basically. More with, or less, yeah. You know, and, and it's just like, hey, take me over to Vader. Because he, he's like, yeah, put yeah. me in handcuffs. Like, that's going to matter. And he's just walking and talking with them. He, and it's just like, wow. You and see, even Vader's kind of like, okay, go away now. You you see how, how he grew. Like, you see he came yeah. from that little that little bitch-ass, like, I got to lay away on a power converter, you know? He came yeah. from, he went from that to, like, this this really confident Jedi who walks in there and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to come from my father. It's been several yeah. years. I mean, he, he even calls him father. Yeah. Like, so he decided to embrace the truth. And let's not forget that that motherfucker built the new lightsaber. Oh yeah. But, yeah. By himself, no training, probably no training. Just schematics. Mm, and so right. I can do like, this. Well, that's some boss ass. That's some boss ass shit. Cause I'm sorry. I love, I love, I love my, my PlayStation four, my Xbox one, but if that shit breaks, I'm not just building that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, it, you know how long it's been since I've even touched touched a fucking carburetor to clean it. <laughs> right. That's why we I got so, fuel injection, know. bitch. No, but like, and there's that, and I'm glad we're talking about that scene because it's such a great scene and one of the only very good scenes because uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. For me, it goes uh, five, six, one as far as the original trilogy and which one's the best. But there is that great scene where he's standing on the bridge, he's in handcuffs, and he's just appealing to Darth Vader. He's not even appealing to Darth Vader. He's appealing to Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. 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 He's really – and I love this scene because it foreshadows the original movies where he is just taking his big force dick and just mind-fucking Vader. Yeah. Well, you know, look, like, but look what you gave me, father. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Res. Like, because that's what – because that's in essence what Palpatine did to him. He basically mind-fucked him. We'll get to that in the, thir the, the original trilogy. Yeah. But Vader is susceptible to emotions and being – swayed by his emotions that's and, true yeah and and luke is just just no condom just railing him <laughs> in the emotions <laughs> well let's talk about emotions let's talk about emotions and what we see there's that scene where where the where darth sidious or palpatine or where the fuck you want to call him, the emperor is yeah. is doing the force lightning the force shock to to yeah. uh, to luke and he's yeah. father father you know and he's like crying out and you could see through the mask. It doesn't even fucking matter. The conflict. The conflict. He's yeah. Both of them. Yes. And and here's my, here. And I've always had a theory on this. The first strike with that force lightning, Luke didn't know what the hell was gonna what was coming at him. No. The second strike, he knew. By the third, by the point when he's shouting to his father, he could have gotten out of that. Yeah. He was mind fucking Vader. Like, Dad, help me, help me. He was using that. To snap Vader out of that it. That makes sense. I never thought of it that way. That's actually an interesting way of looking at it. Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah I, I honestly think that at some point in there, until the Emperor walked on top of him and was about to finish the, actually finish the job, Luke could at, at some point have force jumped or pushed his way away from that. So Luke really killed his dad. <laughs> yeah. <pretty much. laughs> That's kind which, of fucked which, up. 
Which I love. I love it when people who truly are not nerds would be like, "Oh, I don't get it. he's the most powerful Jedi, but lightning takes him out." Yeah, he he <laughs> he's made of well, metal. He's yeah. he's he's literally made of metal, and his whole body is being supported by basically a life support system. Yeah. You yeah. shot that it, shit, and he's it, dead. It shut, yeah, it yeah. shut his suit down. And that's why actually people are always like, "Why doesn't Vader use Force lightning?" Really? You really want to ask that fucking yeah. question? <laughs> like, that's basically suicide. Like, yeah. that's like asking, why don't you put a lightsaber to your dome and just push the button? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I. And honestly, I there, there's there's actually quite a few a, a, a good mind fucks in that one as well. That what I love is how he's trying to get Luke to get angry. And he thinks that sip because of how easy Vader was swayed with anger and fear that Luke was, will give him to, and suddenly start using the, you know, the dark side and going down that path to be, to, to, to be powerful. And he lets him think that, Oh yeah, this is something that, that I, that I'll do. And when he finally takes up the lightsaber to, to try to strike him down to get him to fight with Vader. Right. He's he's not doing it as a you know a, a, as a, a the the same way that that Anakin no. did it. He's just he's like okay you're right you need to you need to die. But he's not going down the dark side to do it. He's doing it for a righteous reason. He played he played Anakin. And people like can a argue fiddle. that all they want. Yeah. He played Anakin you know, like a fucking fiddle. And yeah. you know and you, and you know what though there, there was a really creepy moment though and I, and I love that it, like Robot Chicken and I think no I don't think it was Robot Chicken no it was Family Guy something 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 dark side yeah. beautiful but there's that one moment that just really to this day creeps me out you know on a very fundamental level when he's like. Mmm, yes, I can feel your anger. It's like, do you got a chubby right now, dude? Well, I think I like, did. Well, I think a lot of people look at look at at uh, Darth Sidious and like, let's be honest, he kind of looks like Chester a child molester. Yeah, he's a child molester. He looks like a, a fucking molester. molester. He wants to give the bad touch to the blonde kid. And now, young Jedi, you will be raped. <laughs> <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. You that's, want this? That's, don't promise you. me that's how that, that's how you whisper stuff from bed. <laughs> yeah. You want this, yeah. don't you? <laughs> Good. Good. Use that anger. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, you know. Come on, bitch, rail me. Let's and let's be honest. Oh, let's be honest. Sidious was a little overdone. Like. But that's yeah. part of the beauty. That was part of like you know that guy's evil because he sounds evil. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and he was very much. You have the Dark Knight, and you have the the evil Dark Wizard manipulating yeah. the the power. You know, not getting his hands dirty, sending out people to do things for him. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's very fairy tale ish in a good way, and I yeah. and I do I mean that very fondly, and I think that's what I like like about especially the original trilogy. You see a lot of the Viking myths, but you see you know, and believe it or not, there's actually some like with Jabba and stuff like that. There is a lot of uh, a Beowulf yeah. involved in very that. Much so. Oh yeah, you know? oh yeah, especially. And you, and you know what's really funny about that? That brings up a great moral question: is who really is more evil? Is it the guy who's swinging a lightsaber, or is it the guy going? You want to swing this lightsaber? Yeah. Oh, by no? far, the guy that says you want to swing the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure when your friends get here, they will find the the shields fully functional. It's Are like very much operational. Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, that high. It's that high part of the voice that just fuck. You just you just like I don't want to meet this guy in a dark house. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. I don't like want to meet rate. this guy. Yeah, I don't want to meet this guy in a very lit speed dating set. <laughs> <either. laughs> oh god! And, I mean, as soon as you get to his table, you just hear, "You want this, don't you?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, so, so um, this. what are your what are your interests? I really like corrupting young boys. Oh, god. <laughs> oh. oh so you're Catholic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey -o. <laughs> so, okay, so cuteness. What was your take on the emperor when you finally got to see him, and you know, you got to see his butt-shaped head, head and all that? Yeah, he had a butt face. I was actually disturbed, and I was kind of creeped out. Like, did you see him like we did, like possible molester status or stranger danger? Stranger danger. Uh, <laughs> stranger danger. <laughs> uh, not stranger danger, but I, I was more shocked. I thought it would have more of a mechanical face not a human face okay. just from his costume you know yeah. what he wore yeah i, I see that I'm shocked to okay. see i was it was actually a human 
a human face. Yeah, because I think in that movie was the first time we actually got to see him like outside yeah, of full on. Yeah. yeah, outside of yeah. being a, 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 a like a, a broadcast hologram. or something or a hologram. Yeah. I really, yeah. When I first, when I first saw the like the, the straight on shot of his face, I really just wanted to wipe his forehead with some toilet paper. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like if he drooled, you think maybe he might have had sex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you sneeze or fart? Uh-huh. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Back to the, no, it, back to and now it's uh, we got to get to the, we got to get to uh, the the in, uh, the the forest moon of Endor because everybody says oh they're on Endor. No, it's no, not, no. It's the forest it's, moon of Endor. Yeah, yeah, it's the forest moon of Endor. You fucking. Uh, well, they say it like five thousand times in the movie. So right. You know. Um. So so you you have this. What it is is I, I believe it's. The relay station that powers the shields for the Death Star is down on the planet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and there's a hidden rebel base that's been keeping tabs on everything. Right, and then we got we got the Care Bears on crack who gave away their Care Bear stare for for heroin and, and meth. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I, I I gotta bring up this point, which is is just uh okay. So the Ewoks <laughs> basically whooped the shit out of stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah. They're teddy bears. Punt them like I, I feel like right. one kick good their kick. fuzzy little balls. Well, okay, yeah, like one good kick and that that guy's done. Okay, well let, let me let me let me go be on the opposite side of this argument. But I I agree with what you're saying to an extent. Let's look at what they they were. Oh, yeah, they, we have we have stormtroopers with fucking guns, you know, or blasters and whatnot. Chicken walkers and chicken walkers, and you got you know you got all these all these these things that they that comes with the empire and then you got like these little teddy bears with you know sticks and rocks and you know spears the little slingshots yeah the little slingshots but you also they also made a bunch of fucking pimping traps you got to admit yeah. yes i think the traps yeah. were more entertaining they took, for me they took that atst out with like two fucking uh, uh logs that was cool as shit which how much time did they have to prepare because yeah. the rebels didn't <laughs> set that shit up that well was, they to, did but to, but to, at to, the same time they might have because they knew that the, these other people and stuff because they didn't even trust Leia when they saw her. So no. all they know were, you know, and I think it's been suggested for sport, the stormtroopers were shooting the Ewoks in the forest yeah. for target practice. I could see that. And so they probably did build up, you know, some defenses around their home just in case the stormtroopers came knocking like that. Well, we also... Right, because, because, because they got trapped in the net. Mm-hmm. Long yeah. before they, so their their defenses were probably there, but I will say they definitely went Macaulay Culkin on uh, yes on the stormtroopers. Yeah, well, well, we were also we're also forgetting about one of the one of my favorite parts of the movie. They think C three PO is a god. Yes. Yeah, that, that, was, how that bad was, is it? How bad is it that fucking Luke Skywalker's like, well, dude, we're gonna play off this. Hold on, hold yeah. on. He fucking lifts him like, I'm gonna kill you guys if you don't let my friends go. Yeah. Yeah, tell yeah. them if you do not let us go, you'll become extremely angry with them. <laughs> they don't Excuse believe me. me. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to hear about our Lord and Savior C three PO? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was that. I mean, come on. He is a golden god. <laughs> with a red arm now, but that's so. I, yeah. I, I gotta ask. Yeah. I gotta ask cuteness because we we before the show you t- you said that this is your favorite and the, the Ewoks are your favorite. Why? Well, as a little girl, you know, it's like, oh, teddy bear cutes and they're fluffy and you just want to hold them. It's the same reason. <laughs> they will dry hump your leg, though. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They will. It's uh, the same reason that uh, the vampires in Twilight were hanging out with high school 14 and 16 year old girls just because they sparkle in the sun and every girl likes a sparkle of Hello, Hello Kitty. And when you're a pedophile, your skin glows and sparkles in the sun. It's like free candy in a daycare okay <laughs> all right that's, that's i'll rough. accept that that's a bit off the off, off, way off fucking left field but that'll well, that, well no because that's why she likes the the the, the ewoks is because she, she was a little yep, girl the ewoks were... aren't gonna rape her they may hump her leg a little <laughs> see i didn't know wicked that will time. rape you i'm <laughs> pretty sure that's what the name means <laughs> but i didn't know that at the time yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cute, and they were they kicked ass when they set up all the traps. Yeah, so. yeah. And 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 it evolved into Willow. So. Yeah. <laughs> Warwick <laughs> Davis. Let's let's let's. I love you, Warwick. <laughs> well, let's uh, be honest. Up until Leprechaun. Let's be honest. Uh, uh, there's there's you know that one scene where where uh, where there's you know they're the, they're all fighting and one of them dies and the other one like walks up to sadly to it. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's old fashioned, so you don't really get to see too much facial expression. It just yeah. looks down like, oh. 
Like that dude owed me ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It could have been even like I'm the fucking. You still owe me twenty dollars. You know what he was really saying? That was like, no, I can fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And the but little yeah. babies are cute too. Yeah. That I will admit. And, and I'm I'm pissed off that they changed the music at the end of it. Oh, the with, Jub Jub song. The Jub Jub song. Yeah. And, yeah, oh. I heard they took that took that. Now I haven't I haven't seen all of the the remakes the re 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 release. Don't. And if you're listening to this, don't, don't watch don't them. Do it. Yeah. Don't watch Hayden Christensen yeah. appear as a ghost. Do not watch Hayden Christensen appear as a ghost. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is that? Was that about? Just no, it's, 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 his father. It's, what his father would have looked like at his age when he died. Continuity or whatever. It's it's, it's yeah. they're trying to they're trying to make it like flow. But let's be honest, it flowed before. Like, yeah, we didn't like Hayden Christensen as Anakin anyway. So yeah. well, I know I know Gambit probably did, but no 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 no. We'll get to that. I I didn't like I didn't I don't like his acting. There are a few. Yeah. Uh, fuck. We'll we'll put a pin in that bitch. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. get to that in this, uh, when we get to the when we get to the prequels. But he, yeah. I I, I want to hear his rant because I love we we had talked about it prior to the to being in the show. Uh, yeah. It ends with of course Vader dying, right? Yeah. Ahead, so. Oh, emotional emotional scene. It Take, actually is. What am I? What am I, my, I wish to see like, you with my own eyes. Yeah. Oh just, God. Just, <laughs> my mom cried at that yeah. one. It's, it's, no, it's. Okay. Well, and it's definitely a parent thing. You got kids. I mean, that's an emotional thing to say. I mean, think about it. You're fine. You're gonna see your child for the first time ever, yeah. and it's just like you're seeing them through all this electronic and help. You know, you know, through, because you can't. You're already shutting down. A, and now he, yeah. he wants to just see his. You know, for the first time, actually see his child. He's, uh, well, he's actually they, talking to him as Anakin too. At that yeah, and they, and, yeah. And they show it. They show it too. He <laughs> sees it almost almost infrared. Yep. So yeah. you got to understand that he's probably not seeing facial. Features features of Annie, or, or of Luke and I do I am a parent I have a 5 year old kid and the weight when you're when your girl is pregnant and you just want to see what this little this little bloody mess looks like when he comes out is but when you see your kid for the first time it is one of the most heart wrenching and just that line though just even before I had kids let me look upon you with my own eyes it's just yeah. like Oh shit! That got me right in. The, well, if I had feels, it would get me right yeah. in the feels. Like you're making one of my <laughs> two feelings angry, neutral and angry, and you're making angry. Right. angry. <laughs> and it's only because I don't <laughs> understand. And this is, and this is. I, I mean, I know we joked about it earlier, but like, yeah, he opens the mask and he's a crispy piece of bacon, and everybody likes to talk about how he had this awesome, cool black guy voice, and he's this crusty old white dude. What did you expect? He's right. He's easily in his fifties, and he was mutilated to the point where he needs machines to keep him alive. Did you? You expect a pretty boy Listen to him underneath talk. that mask? Barely talk. Yeah. yeah. So of course he has yeah. like a vocal modulator or something yep. installed to where it makes it makes him sound more, you know. And that's another thing. It's also kind of a Sith lore. If you have been burnt or destroyed beyond repair, they're gonna put you in a black suit to make you scary. Well, who's gonna say they're not gonna make your voice scary too? Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and James so, Earl so, Jones would scare the shit out of me if he came to me like, "Hey, I'm your father." I'm like, "Oh God." Uh, of course, he'd probably follow. I am your father. Do you want to save on long distance? <laughs> <laughs> no, so like, so like that moment was, uh, I think, I think was a very great moment, and I, it, it nerd bothers me when people pick on that moment for the way he looks because you know what, I, you know what also it sparked in my mind when I was a kid was, oh my God. What happened to him? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. How did he become that way? We didn't what? know he was burnt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had no idea. And even in the can and even like the books and the lore, George Lucas was very smart about never letting his writers talk about how Anakin Skywalker was horrifically mutilated. And again, we'll talk about the prequels, yes. uh, another reason why I'm a fan of them. So that he couldn't mess that up. And on top of that, but getting you get that moment of like it's almost like you get that realization like this guy, something bad happened to this guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's a, he's a bad guy, and he likes to force choke people for fun. He's got, like, a choking <laughs> fetish. Yeah. But, like, man, he, he something about this guy. I got I got to know more. It yeah. almost makes you yeah. – you, you almost love him, well, um, almost. You see a burnt-up version of him, and you're like so, – yeah, you, you, like you said, something bad happened. I would love to know why he is the way he is, and that's yeah. that's pretty much what it is. And that 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 whole end scene is very emotional. There's a lot of ups. I mean, even even Mark Hamill, who was a young actor at the time, like when I say young, I mean he he was still learning his acting ways as well. He he acted spot on for that scene. Oh, beautifully. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You know? like, and this is why I I talk about how I love the original trilogy because we talked about all three of them. We've covered a lot of them, and we're not quite done yet, but. 
it's so hard to pick apart things like little nerd things like your nerd level has to be on the next level to really pick shit apart but yeah. like they're just all the way around so well done and you get to watch the evolution of the characters and the development and you go on this roller coaster ride of emotions mm -hmm. from hating this guy to holy shit he's his father to oh my god i kind of love him and he had he must have had a tortured life oh i'm a dick for hating him like, <laughs> yeah yeah you see that end scene where where everyone's partying and stuff, and then it, it's kind of nice. You see, like all you see, the ghosts of all of his, all of. Oh no! Everyone, no, no! I fucking hate that party well, scene. Well, hold on. Everyone, it, it's it's like actually kind of sad, with the exception of his sister. Everyone that that Luke Skywalker loves died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, like, that's party. true. They're like they're like hey, you know, I I can see. I just like I want to see Fonzie, you know, with his thumbs in the air, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And in, in that in that scene where where she says I hope Lou, you know when Han Solo says I wonder if he made it and she says no he's okay I know I can feel it she says oh you got something for the guy she goes no he's my brother and that look on his face is he's thinking back to you stuck his your tongue down his throat <laughs> yeah what you the kiss that dude he's literally <laughs> thinking what did I just get myself into yeah yeah it's like I'm gonna get myself into a princess space <laughs> there's space Hicks <laughs> yeah space twin says oh god oh. <laughs> says <laughs> yeah. So, yeah and then that uh that kind of leads us into the to the new trilogy which i always refer to as the new trilogy yeah but uh yeah. as you guys know bosses have many forms and you can't just tackle a boss once and expect it to be over so to pay this the respect it deserves we will have part two next week discussing the original trilogy and episode seven Yes, that way we can give you guys the most out of this podcast. Yeah. So this will be a double a double parter. Ha ha ha. DP. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just for Donkey Punch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My wife just face bumped before 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 I even said it cuz she knew what was coming. Yeah. I wasn't really going with Donkey Punch. I was more going with double penetration, but yeah, Donkey That's Punch that bitch. Oh. 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 Woo -hoo! All right, and I good. beat good. Red beat red. <laughs> Judas is beat red. I guarantee it. Oh, she, yeah, she's bright red. She can't she's hiding behind a chihuahua. <laughs> so with that, wow. everybody, now that now that cuteness is completely beat red, we will see you next week. Same bat time, same bat place.